All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please share the link with your friends in Facebook, in any social media you are part of it. Uh, today our question is very simple, but as simple as it is, as hard to answer. You know, each day we speak about a different topic, but it doesn't matter what the topic is, Islam has no answers. In the Quran, the name of Israel is mentioned tons of time. I mean, hardly you can find a chapter in the Quran does not say his name. But if we ask the Muslims, who is Israel? Not even a single Muslim can answer us based on the Quran. Who is Israel? My Skype is open immediately. So if there is any Muslim would like to call, please feel free. And I challenge any Muslim to give me the correct answer. Who is Israel? You see, when we speak about the book of God, the book of God should be perfected. Nothing is missing. I do not need to go and look in Google to find who is Israel to understand what Allah is speaking about. I remember when Muhammad came to existence, there was no internet and there was no Google. So if I am a Muslim and my book keeps saying, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, all over the Quran, Shouldn't I ask myself, who is, who the heck is this guy? I mean, his name is all over, but yet not a single place the Quran tell me who is he. What the point of saying, oh, children's of a Trump, and you don't tell me who is a Trump? Shouldn't I know? You introduced to me the children of the man, but yet you did not introduce the man yet? All those verses in the front of you speaking about a man, his name is Israel. Look, look how many, look. It's all over the Quran. Allah is possessed with this guy, Israel. All over. Actually, his name is mentioned more than Muhammad. No. Israel. 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 I mean, what? Who is Israel? Do we have any Muslim here? Do we have any Israel, any, any Muslim? No, even in Tafsir, my friend, even in Tafsir, the Muslim, they will not find out because Tafsir, in order, you see, Tafsir never tell anything. The Tafsir will tell you in the Christian books, in the Jewish book, it says, etc. You believe it? In order for the Muslims to know who is this guy, Israel, they have to go and give you an answer from the Torah. How Islam is a religion, you know, how Allah, he's, you see the Quran said, that today I choose in Islam for you and perfected your religion for you. He chose what? Islam for you. All the Quran confirm one thing that this book is perfect book chapter 5 verse number 3 read me please this day have those who reject the faith given up the hope of your religion okay what does that mean nothing Continue seeing, continue with me. Yet fear them not, but fear me. This day I have perfected your religion for you and completed my favor upon you and have chosen for you Islam as a religion. 
Now here I'm not going to question how stupid this statement because this is in the beginning of the Quran. How Islam is perfected, but this is a verse in the beginning of the Quran. Obviously, for this verse to be correct, have to be the last verse on the Quran. If the Muslim they say this is the last verse, yes, but Muhammad he put it there, it means the Quran is corrupt. Because corrupting the meaning is corrupting the book. And this is a corruption for the meaning. There's a huge difference between saying in the beginning of the book that today I perfected your religion for you. But yet the book is not perfect, is not completed, and there's tons of verses coming after and chapters. However, this is not important. What important is the Quranic claim, which is the book of Allah, as Muslims they claim, saying that this book is perfect and perfection mean i should not go and read different book in order to understand it or look for information where is the information you see just to show you the the stupidity of the quran in the same chapter it says it's forbidden for you to eat pork question if we ask the Muslims why I cannot eat pork, nobody knows. Did Allah tell you why? No. Oh, so what does that mean? I saw an article, actually a video, a Muslim saying, I asked myself why Allah forbid us from eating pork, and I found the answer <laughs> in a German magazine <laughs> the book of Allah has no answer he got his answer in a German magazine that pork is not healthy why in the world you need to go to the German magazine to find why pork is forbidden why your book did not explain it But this is not important really much. We are talking about a guy, his name is Israel, and his name is all over the Quran. So when the God of the Quran keeps saying, Israel, 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 a simple question should be, who is this man? Who is this man? Isn't it funny? that you jump into telling me about a guy his name is israel but you don't tell me who is israel you see in the quran the quran is the book of madness and stupidity once upon the time muhammad he decided to tell us about ibrahim or abraham So, because Muhammad is all knowledgeable, you know, all knowing, supposedly Allah is talking. وَإِذَا قَالَ لِإِبْرَاهِيمَ لَأَبِيهِ آزَرَةً Chapter 6, verse number 74. Translation. Lu, I like it when the Muslim they say Lu. Lu said to his father Azar. <laughs> oh boy, I love it. His father, who Azar, the Muslim, they don't translate the word Azar. Do you know why? Anyone know why they don't translate the word Azar? Based in the translation, what do you think, guys? What is what what is the word Azar mean? The Quran saying that Abraham he have a father, his name is Azar, correct? Correct. This is why they did not translate the word. But the fact the stupid liar who made the Quran, he copy the Aramaic sentence of the story that Abraham he said to his father, Azar. Azar in Aramaic means foolish stupid are you going to worship idols is what he's saying to him 
Muhammad and his followers they thought that the word Azar because this is a foreign word they do not know what it's mean they thought this is the name of the father of Abraham <laughs> Imagine the word is stupid or foolish become a name of the father of Abraham This is when a donkey became a guy who carry BHD or he claimed to be a prophet You go in the Bible you will find the real name of the father of Abraham So how come the Quran get wrong? Mary is the sister of Aaron Mary Maryam by the way the Quran speak of Mary as Maryam Maryam. Yes, there is a Maryam. She is the sister of Aaron in the Bible. We know it Abraham he have a father his name is Azar. this is why you will not find one translation translating the word Azar because they thought this is a name Are we okay Muslims Do we have any Muslim? How you Muslims believe in such a book is full of madness and stupidity. So, based on the Quran, Jacob is exist in the Quran, and Jacob is the son of Abraham. Okay, that's wonderful. And Abraham is the son of Azar, a guy his name is foolish. <laughs> but then when we ask the Muslims who is Israel, they don't know. There's nowhere in the Quran that says who is Israel. Who is Israel? Hmm? Who is Israel? Many Muslim? Yeah, we we know that it's a Jacob, but we have to go to the Bible to find out the answer. How a Muslim he is reading his Quran, he can tell us who is this guy, his name is Israel. Anyone can tell me? No, Azhar is different university. Azhar different. Azhar actually, the one who built the Azhar university, it was the Shia. But when the caliphate changed, the whole country became Sunni. You know, Islam is not a religion really. It's a cult based on violence. Over one day, all the people became Sunni. Yesterday, they were Shia. So the one who built the Azhar university, it was the Shia. And have nothing to do. Azhar is not Azar. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Hi, Magda, how are you? If we go in the Quran, we will find tons of names. Nobody knows who they are. As an example, just to give you an example, the most famous name in the Quran, who? Guys, somebody help me. Who is the most famous name in the Quran? Anyone can tell me? No, Muhammad. Remember, Muhammad is the prophet of Islam. Okay, who is Muhammad? I challenge any Muslim to tell me how I will know who is this guy, Muhammad. Who is Muhammad? The first verse speak about Muhammad is this one, chapter 3, verse number 144. Read together. And Muhammad is no more than a messenger. Okay, who is Muhammad? Shouldn't you tell us first who is this guy, where he is coming from, and Muhammad is just a messenger? Same as the story of Israel. Okay, who is Israel? 
who is his father where he is coming from you see I saw a video many years ago by a guy his name is Abdullah green I like a green people when I was in the Middle East I used to study English you know in the school they say to us mr. Brown mr. Brown I was saying to myself what's wrong with those English people the guy his name is Brown what is mr. yellow so mr. Abdullah green he have a video in YouTube he says okay the Bible is written by John John who Luke who mark who look who is talking <laughs> I can show you even from your books who is John not only from our books and from the Bible what are you talking about John he introduced himself who is he what are you talking about Paul he introduced himself who is he now who is Muhammad who is Jacob who is Abraham who is Idris who is Luqman tons of names in the Quran nobody knows who they are starting from the most important one in Islam his name is Muhammad who is Muhammad they don't know guys invite your people your friends what's wrong why we have only 144 if a girl doing unboxing for a bikini you will find like 2,000 people watching should we do unbox unboxing for the bikini of the prophet okay today we will do unboxing for the, the bikini of the by the way I'm not making fun the prophet was accused of stealing a bikini I'm serious you know so we might do unboxing for the bikini which is stolen by the prophet and until now it is missing like when the Quran speak about Muhammad being accused of stealing a bikini okay what does that mean what is the story about I mean how in the world this Quran can be the book of God where is the story I mean it says there it's not for the prophet to be a thief okay thief what what he did what happened nothing there's no story in the story in order to understand the story which is not a story we have to go to the books of interpretation and then we have to search for chapter 3 hello hey uh, Christian Prince how are you my friends I'm fine a long time no see uh, you remember maybe you remember me Rob Christian from Paul talk okay oh, yeah yeah how are you Rob? how are you good to, good to have you yes I remember you for sure yeah good to see you my friend I've been uh, offline for a long time but it's always a pleasure to talk to you my brother thank you uh, Same here. you were mentioning the the red panties right <laughs> that Muhammad stole yeah <laughs> did you find it did you know where it is uh, anything any, any news I think some Jew uh, he stole it man I don't I'm not sure uh, we have to accuse the Jews no it cannot be the Jews because the the, the Muslims are the ones who are accusing the prophet of stealing it <laughs> no, it's always the Jews did you know that uh, yeah but but in this case they cannot do that because the Muslims are accusing the prophet it's not uh, like an out uh, or like it's an inside job you know <laughs> an inside job yeah, yeah. That must be the case yeah like 9-11 <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know uh, uh cp about uh the, the story of jacob it's really uh very interesting you know you know muslims love to uh use the verse from deuteronomy 18 18 right to show us that hey this is muhammad that uh uh is mentioning here in this uh, deuteronomy uh, verse mm. right uh but they forget one thing that when it says uh there will be a prophet from among you fellow Israelites now you mentioned something really important uh, when you talk about Israel who is Israel it's Jacob right when we go to the Bible we know who is Israel it's Jacob but of course the Muslims the Abduls they don't know who Israel is so well, every Christian needs to ask this question first who is Israel and what does it mean to be a fellow Israelite so when you explain to them that Jacob is Israel then how is it possible that Muhammad uh, is a brother of an of Jacob that's a problem right 
Well, uh, first of all, why the Muslim even looking for Muhammad in the in the Torah when the Quran said that the one who mentioned his name is Isa and he called him even Ahmad. He did not even call him Muhammad. You see? Yes. The Muslims, yes. The, the Muslims always like you know there, there's a there's a short of an, uh, intellect. Uh, if we go in the Quran, you will see that the one who will mention the name of what is called the Prophet of Islam is a Isa, and therefore that will not be in the Old Testament. It says here, why the Qala Isa ibn Maryam hmm? uh, uh, that there is a prophet after me will come. His name is Ahmad, not Muhammad. And this yes. is in chapter 61, verse number six. So if the name of Muhammad is coming in the Old Testament, that's mean the one who making a lie here is Allah. For this is the wrong statement, the wrong location. But brother, it's Muhammadim, not Ahmad. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, at the same time, why Muhammad in the time, in his time, did not say to them, okay, my name is there, Muhammadim. <laughs> Muhammadim, huh? You see, there's many things about the Muslims. When Christians, they debate with Muslims, they forgot because they don't have really the knowledge. Like when a Muslim, yeah. as an example, say to you, uh, that's uh, the name of Muhammad in the Bible. Shouldn't you ask him why Muhammad never say so? And yes. He, why, why he don't quote? Why he don't quote any of those verses the Muslims they are quoting for us today? Why he didn't quote from uh, uh, John or Luke or from the Old Testament? Why Muhammad never say uh, uh, this is the verse speaking about me? And when the Muslims accuse, as example, Paul, they call him names. Shouldn't Muhammad be the first to know about Paul if he's a bad person? Why Muhammad never said a bad word about Paul? Actually, Islamic books, all of it, speaking about Paul as a messenger of Allah. So exactly. what, what the Muslims today are suffering from, Muslims, they are disconnected with their own cult. They don't even know their cult, but yet they claim to know your own belief. They want to teach you what your Bible means, but they cannot even explain to us one verse in the Quran. Yeah, but the, you know, the thing is... Uh... To be honest, uh, Christian <laughs> Prince, those Muslims, the Muslims that they try to show you or show me or any Christian, hey, this is the verse that is talking about Muhammad. Those people are not smart. If I was a truly smart and really genius Muslim, you know what I should answer to a Christian? But, uh, you, but, but, please, you please, Christians hold on, hold on. Did you, say, did you say if I am a smart or genius Muslim? I mean, how you can find that? Are you... Uh, are I you think, dreaming or I something? Think if you are a Muslim uh, Christian prince, I think you would have been a very smart Muslim. <laughs> are you a high or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You know why? You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> I know, I know. But, I would say, hey, you Christians and Jews, you changed your Bible and you removed the name of Ahmed. Hmm. But, here, you think? but you see here that the Muslims, they have a problem actually. Is the name of Muhammad Muhammad or Ahmed? Because if this is a name, the name should not be changed. If it's a title, then it's a title. And this proves my point that Muhammad is not the name of this guy. This guy, he claimed to be God. He called himself Muhammad. What Muhammad? If we ask any Muslim what Muhammad means, he would say the praised one. If yes. Muhammad is the praised one, so who is Allah? Allah is uh, the, the psalmist. It's the, the sold idol, right? He is the the idol. No, he is the praised too. <laughs> <laughs> so that's... Aren't you then a mushri mushrik CP if you uh, call Muhammad uh, the anointed one? That's shirk. Mm. Shirk, right. the Shahada is shirk. You know, they associate the name of their God with the name of a man. Yes. Even Allah himself is a mushrik because Allah, he wrote the name of Muhammad in his chair. Imagine, guys, Allah, he made a piece of furniture. And now Allah, he look at this chair like, what is missing there? What is missing there? What? He sit in it, he flip it, he is not comfortable, something really missing there. And bingo, he got it. It is the name of Muhammad. So Allah, he decided to write in his chair that there is no God but Allah and there is no messenger but Muhammad. And then Allah, he felt so comfortable and now his chair is so beautiful after he wrote the name of Muhammad. Have you ever heard of a God? He need to write a name of a man in his chair. A man, do you know what a man is? Guys, to yeah. just to to make you like you know think about it. If you look at the Earth in this space, the whole Earth is not even a, in the size of a dust compared to this universe. Amazing, huge universe. So imagine the God who created all this huge, crazy universe. He wrote the name of Muhammad in his chair. Yeah, but CP, you know, the thing is, it's not only that. You have many gods in Islam. We know that the Quran has 114 chapters 
So you have 140 chapters that will be God. So you 114 plus Allah plus Muhammad. Then you have Omar who uh, abrogated Mut'a. So Omar is also Allah because he can abrogate the Mut'a of Allah in the Quran. So how many gods we have now? Well, I think I think our our, our caller here is uh, is is, uh, is is are you fasting Ramadan or something? Me? No, yeah? I, no? I, okay. I I forgot, man. I forgot. My friend, the Muslims will say when you say you, you they have one hundred fourteen uh, God in the Quran. You need to explain to them because the Quran is not created, correct? Yes. <laughs> so as long guys, just to explain to you what he's saying, the Quran according to Muslim is not created. Okay, Allah is not created. Okay, so now we have two uncreated object or person whatever you want to call them as yeah, long the Quran is 114 God, right? chapters so Quran is also God it uh, must be a divine because it's any created yeah. who is the one who created the Quran the Muslim they say it is any created okay yes, so now exactly. Allah is any created and Quran is not a created so now we have two and created individuals how that can be how you Muslim yeah. you say to us Allah is one and then we find that there is two and created because if Allah is the creator then anything after him should be created by him yeah but and what about you mean Allah this the black stone of Allah who uh, is well you know Allah. two days ago a Muslim he called me and he got me busted he said this is weak <laughs> <laughs> it is weak you mean Allah is weak yeah everything but, is weak yeah but it will have a mouth and it will speak so no you mean you mean Allah you mean Allah we, uh, uh, the black stone they say that it is it is a weak hadith but uh, the the hadith about Allah have uh, right hands is not weak if you remember uh, Allah he have uh, two hands and both of them uh, in the right side which is very nice actually you know imagine you are in the beach and there's like a you know like you're a single like me and you have two hands in the right side and both of them in your pocket and walking in the beach the women they will go crazy man you have two hands in the right side and nothing in the left side so according to Muhammad Allah have two hands and both hands of Allah are in his right side as you see in the front of you on the screen yeah. but uh, CP if Allah has two right hands would it Allah be a really funny creature actually I think he, I, I think I think he's a cute <laughs> <laughs> me myself I would like to take a selfie with him from the left side so I can spank him and he will not be able to beat me back because if you if you're two hands in the right side how you can defend yourself from the left side but I think Allah would have a nice time one shisha in the right hand the other shisha in the, the other right hand right imagine Allah smoking two shishas with one if two put, right hands man <laughs> if I if I if I put if I put the cell phone in the pocket of Allah in the left side how Allah can get it <laughs> and why Allah have I mean what the problem with the Muslims that Allah hands both are in the right side you see the Muslims because Islam is an is a counterfeit uh, religion they they learn from the Old Testament and from the Bible that the word the word right you see the right the right side of God it's the, the right uh, uh, you know so the word right have a have a religious meaning but Muhammad because he take it in a literate way so his God became so funny so now Allah have two hands and both of them they are right because it's going to be a problem if Allah have a left hand because remember shaitan have left hands Allah cannot have left hands shaitan yeah. he eat if you when you eat by the left hand shaitan eat with you man to be honest I think this Allah of uh, Muslims really looks funny imagine he has two right hands he is short. He's uh, fat, and he has really curly hair, right? Yeah. So if you if can we can you draw Allah for for us uh, CP? I mean, you can do it, right? Well, I know you are. Yeah, really, actually, really I really good artist. I won many prize prize before about drawing, as you know, and actually, you know, I'm I'm sure you you have some of my pain. Did you buy any of them? <laughs> maybe we can maybe we can put it besides uh, Mona Lisa in uh, Fran France. Yeah. France. Well, if we go to the Hadith, we will find Muhammad describe how Allah looked like, and Muhammad he was confused about how Allah, how the Muslims they will believe in the Antichrist. So here in the, the Hadith in front of us, it says that Allah so so. I don't know what does that mean. S A W W W W W dot com. S 
see I told you so much about the Dajjal, the Antichrist, Muslims. Why Why you Muslims believe in the Antichrist? Why the Antichrist is Antichrist, not anti-Allah? <laughs> why he is not anti-Muhammad? Muhammad is the last prophet. Look like Muhammad is not the problem for the devil. Christ is the problem. Here we go. Even, even the Muslims believe is exposing Islam. How in the world you say to us, Jesus is just a prophet, but yet the devil is Antichrist? Yeah. Why in the world, if Allah He sent one hundred twenty-four thousand prophet, why the devil choose to be antichrist, not anti Muhammad, not anti Abraham, not anti David, not anti anyone, especially Muhammad? Why antichrist? They have no answer. Let it go. Then Muhammad He says, "I'm afraid that you may not understand." The antichrist is short, hinted, and I and I sightless, neither protruding nor deep seated. I mean, look at the description. And what Muhammad is worried about, he is worried that they will misbelieve in the wrong person. And now he confirmed that this description is exactly the description of Allah, except Allah is not one eyed. So, what the difference between the Antichrist and Allah is just one eye. The right eye is not damaged. Allah is a man. Yeah. You know, I, I think Allah Allah looks like a pirate, uh, CP. I don't know, really. Uh, you know, if you remove, <laughs> I don't know if you, you look like a pirate. <laughs> yeah, if you look at the description, you look weird. Look like Charlie Chaplin somehow. You know, I don't know, but uh, but the important is why the Muslims even will will uh, 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 like why muhammad is worrying about the muslim will be confused between allah and the man the man is a man because the the jail the antichrist he is a person as you see he will come as a man and muhammad describe him as a man he's a human being so why the muslims will think that he is allah and why the description is about physical shape if this guy is the devil i mean can't he fix his eye he can go to any clinic you know they can install a fake one nobody will notice isn't it the Quran and isn't it what the Muslims believe that shaitan the genie he come he came and he took the look of uh, of uh, of Suleiman that's mean he the, the shaitan and all the Muslims believe that shaitan can change his uh, uh, yeah, shapeshifter right yeah he's shapeshifter and he can change his look even the Quran says you see him but he he, he see you but you don't see him so uh, this is why he's called genie actually the word Jannah is coming from the jinn. What is the jinn? Jinn is uh, some something you cannot see So the the person who is able or capable capable sorry of being unseen And he can change because how he can be unseen because he changed his shape He can be Muhammad. He says the black dog is a devil So what which mean the genie can take the shape of a black dog the most believe even genie can come to you as a human and have sex with you uh, the, the genie can come as a camel can come as a cow can come as a tree can come as anything so if this is a genie and the Antichrist is that the Dajjal who is a shaitan which means he's a genie so what the point of saying he have a problem with the right eye yeah but also a jinn can come also in a human shape because in Islam a jinn can have sex with a, a Muslim woman right yes yes not uh, only so he's, he's I mean, can't he give himself a second eye and look like Allah? I mean, the only difference is that Allah has more than one eye, right? So, I mean, if he, if Shaitan can do anything, he can look like Allah. So, what's the problem? Muhammad, he met with some genie. He claimed that he met with some genie from Nasribin, which is an, it's a, it's an Assyrian, uh, 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 you know, uh, like territory at that time, and he claimed that those people are genie. Why? Because they are tall, and um, and then he met another group. He claimed that they are genie because they are black. You know? Yeah, and and the Sabine, it's still uh, a neighborhood in Syria. It still exists. Yeah, I know. No, it's I know it exists, but yeah. I mean this guy he uh, he he met with people and he claimed um, that they are a genie, and but they are in the shape of a human being. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Uh, CP, uh, another thing, you know, you know about uh, the story that two Jewish women came to Aisha and they basically played with her a game, right? And they trolled her about uh, uh, Azab al-Qabr, right? 
uh, yeah, yeah, punishment the, of the grave. Yeah. But you know, uh, when you look at uh, uh, the different thing, when you when Muslims love to give us Surah two uh, verse seventy nine, where it says that the Jews uh, played uh, uh, with something, you know, uh, they wrote uh, scripture and they said this is from Allah. But if you go to Tafsir and Jalalain, for example, they played a, the exact same game with Muhammad. You know, they wrote something, some book. And they said to him, hey, uh, this is from Allah. Exactly the same game. Those Jews, they're really something, you know, they are really trolling Jews. Well, uh, you know, uh, the, the Jews in the time of Muhammad, obviously, um, they made Muhammad angry for sure. And they got him busted in many ways. However, you know, the stories about the Jews from the Islamic source, I believe most of it is fabricated. Um, remember, you know, this is one-sided history, same as the Christians. Yeah. You know, you yourself, you came from the Middle East. If you watch in the month of Ramadan, and this is now we are in the Ramadan, they play uh, uh, series like uh, movies about uh, Islam and Jewish and Christians. Yeah. Always in the movie, they make the Jewish guy or the Christian guy is a guy who have a long nose and he have a nose like a like a chicken, you know, like his uh, like a witch. You know, yeah, he's an ugly yeah. guy, disgusting. He have no honor. He like money. He drink wine, and his wife she sleep around, and there are people who spend the night just having sex and having uh, drinking wine, and the Muslims are the people who is praying to God, spending yeah. their day praying, asking Allah for forgiveness, and yeah. their faces is like you know, glorious people. Yeah, but CP, you have uh, one problem. If you go to the Hadith, you will see that in the early uh, period of Islam, the men, they used to go around with their meal, par uh, meal parts dripping, right? You have it in the Hadith. Yeah, yeah. I'm, so how can they make that claim when in, in Ramadan, there is a place, you know, I think it's in Medina. I'm not sure if it is Mecca or Medina. I think it's in Medina. They go around and they have sex and uh, they have dripping uh, meal parts. Uh, but if, if you go to the English translation, it's totally different, right? Maybe you can explain to the audience. Yeah, actually, uh, here uh, it says, imagine, like, uh, guys, do you see it? This is the height he's talking about. Uh, here they are doing tawaf, they are doing hajj. And, exactly. they are, and during the hajj, the guy is saying that we used to go around the Kaaba and our penises uh, drip in semen. Do you see it, guys? Do you see it? Yes. We get out with our male organs dripping with semen. Now, why in the world those people, they are going to go around the Kaaba and their male organs dripping semen? Many because it was allowed. It was allowed. Because they have sex around the Kaaba, because this is it was a sexual yeah. religion, you know? Yeah. It was Are a sexual imagine? religion. People, they go... Uh, 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 and the different hadith mentioned that they used to go naked around the Kaaba, totally naked, you know. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, uh, uh, I mean, what, what do you mean your penis is dripping semen? Like, is it like uh, the faucet is broken or something? I know. What's happening here? Yeah, what a nasty, filthy, sick, sex room. Oh, please don't insult the prophet. Guys, I did not insult him. This is the caller. You know, I am not. Yeah. Disclaimer, disclaimer. <laughs> sue me, guys. Sue me. <laughs> yeah, I don't agree with you. That Muhammad, he wasn't a very just, you know, he's just an open minded man. He's hippie. Yeah, but he, he, didn't he uh, used to clean his hands uh, with the clothes of Aisha when uh, they had sex? Ooh. I mean, very clean, yeah. Well, he used to clean his hands in the in the floor, actually. Uh, but but you see but you see uh, the point of the prophet doing that he is the best example for Jean Claude Van Damme you know him this actor they ask him in an interview in Emirat how you can maintain yourself to be healthy like this and you are in this age he said look at the best example as example the prophet Muhammad <laughs> yeah. what a scam this guy he is doing a movie is is uh, the, is paid by the Arab by the Muslims in the Emirat, so he, he know what they like to hear, you know. He he's preparing himself. So he said, look as an example, the best prophet, the prophet he used to eat his boogers, the prophet he used to drink the soup full of fleas, and the prophet used to be full of lice, and the prophet he used to take a shower with dead dogs and women bl blood from period, and yet the best example is the prophet. <laughs> Imagine. 
Yeah, and Um Salama loved to pick the lice from his hair, right? Wasn't it Um Salama, Salama and Um Haram? Oh, yeah, man. many, many of them actually. Yeah, but uh, but it remember, must be a great hobby, right? Yeah, but remember, the, uh, yeah, at that time, <laughs> picker of, uh, yeah, actually, I don't know if you remember once I, I asked a Muslim uh, in Nepal talk, he said. At that time, people don't kill the lice because it was the only entertainment they have. <laughs> Imagine how many, how many Sahaba, uh, because Muhammad had uh, lice, they did it too, right? Because uh, everything uh, the Prophet did, they, they did the same. Do you remember, did. Rob, did you remember once uh, when this guy, uh, what his name, Osama Abdullah, he came to Pal Talk in my room and he said to us, you Christians are filthy full of lies. Yeah, 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 and you showed them the hadith. Right? Yeah, I said to him, So, are you saying the one who have lies is dirty? He said, Sure. Well, you know, do you know what lies happen? Why? I said, I said, Explain to us why. He said, Because it's stupid, you stink, and you didn't take a shower. <laughs> and then I yeah, said to you him, don't, You don't go easy on these guys. Man. Yeah, and then I said to him, So, what do you, what do you, what do you say if I show you a prophet? He have lies. <laughs> he started reading <laughs> the hadith. He said, Yeah. Um, um 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 okay i will be back <laughs> yeah. yeah and the and the other time he came to us and uh he he uh you know we were talking about magic he took the mic he said only stupid people believe in magic i said are you sure abdul he said yeah i'm very sure i said so what do you say about the quran speaking about Allah is the one who teach magic. He said it's proven scientifically. It's false. What are you talking about? So I show him the verse and then the Muslim they made articles against him saying this guy is a kafir and He is denying that magic is coming from Allah Unbelievable. Yeah What we can say let us hope that some Muslims will call us. Do you have any any more questions? Uh, no, brother. It was it is a really pleasure to uh, to speak to you after such a long period. Uh, keep it up, guys. Uh, please support uh, CP. Uh, and uh, God bless my friend. And maybe we will talk uh, again soon. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Quite a really free. nice pleasure. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care. See, see you, my friend. Bye bye. All right. Do we have any Muslim? Until now, the question is not answered. Who is Israel? Any Muslim might tell us who is Israel? You see, there's many things in the Quran, nobody have answer for it. When the Quran mentioned that the Prophet was accused that he stole an underwear, I mean, isn't it better for Allah to send the message to say who took it instead of saying it's not the Prophet? If Allah is all knowing and He is the mighty God, for sure He should know where is the underwear right now. Somebody took the underwear. Allah is all-knowing. He can see where it is. He can see who took it. So Allah, he sent us a message saying it is not for a prophet to take an underwear. Okay. And where is the underwear? And then now the underwear, which is stolen 1,400 years ago, is missing. We contacted the Pink Panther. We contacted uh, 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 what his name, Detective, uh, the, uh, Mr. Monk. We, uh, we, we contacted all detectives in the world. They could not find this underwear. The God defending his prophet. The prophet is not the one who took the underwear. Okay, who took it? Why the Quran always missing something very important? There is no details and there is no answer. So who is? Forget about the underwear now. I mean, the underwear is not really important. We can get one for five dollars. Yeah, Colombo, maybe he can. Erdogan, he has it. Yeah. Hmm. Erdogan is upset because in Vienna they kicked 60 Imam and they closed seven mosques sponsored by the terrorist Erdogan. They kicked them out. Any Abdul?
And by the way, the story here of the underwear, it's as you see, it's they are fighting over the booty, which means they stole an underwear from a guy, they killed him. And now they are fighting who took the underwear. The thieves are like, we did not see them when they steal. We, we saw them when they are fighting. This is what they say in Egypt. Like a bunch of thieves, when they did the crime, they did it at night. So people did not see them when they did the crime, but they saw them when they are fighting out of, of, over what they stole. So now the Muslims accusing their prophet because he is very well known that he do that. Otherwise, why the prophet is the one being, being accused? Why the Muslim did not think of somebody else? And please, guys, please, show respect to the prophet because according to the Quran, if you insult the prophet or if you don't believe in the prophet, Allah will, will make your face have no eyes and you will look funny. I know a guy who insulted the prophet. He woke up in the morning. He looked like Christian Prince. Auzu billah. Auzu billah. You don't want that to happen to you. Trust me. Imagine you you sleep handsome, good looking. You wake up like Christian. I mean, this is this is very bad. So look here, in chapter four, verse number forty-seven, Allah is threatening the Christians and the Jews. If you don't believe in Muhammad, okay, what he will do? You want to see what he will do? Do you want to see what he will do? Let me show you. Oh, people of the book, believe in what we have now revealed, confirming what is already, already was already with you, was already, it's already with you. Before we change the face and fame of some of you, like what changed the face? Don't change my face, man. What, what, what? Allah will curse us and nobody can recognize us. He will make our face change. Okay. 1400 years is gone and nothing happened to our faces. Do you see the, the do you see the stupid prophecy? This is a prophecy here. If you don't believe, I will I will make your face flat. This is what the not most not most mean. You will you will you, you will have a face without eyes, without nose, without mouth. You will look like flat. Like as if a train go over you, you know, or as if uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, like what the, those machines they do the syphilis in the street go over you. You will become like a like a pound. So Allah is threatening us if we don't believe in Muhammad, He will do this to us. Okay, we don't believe in Muhammad. Fourteen hundred years until now, we did not see one person he suffered from that problem. Huh? And look how the Muslims they translate this thing. You know, I mean, translation is very funny. It doesn't say that. It says that your faces will be will turn to be unrecognizable because we will make it flat, like if we step on you by by a train. Let us see. Destroy continues. What, what is that? What is what is the what is the translation for this crazy thing? I mean, not even a Muslim. One Muslim he got it right. Ah, cook, cook, cook. Look, look, here is better. Here is better. We are getting closer. Before we efface faces by making them like back of the neck. <laughs> True story. I know many Christians, especially in the Middle East, guys, like us Arab Christians. You know, we don't have faces, and our face became in the front. I mean, our face became backward, forward. You know, and our eyes are like as an example, honest, honest to to Allah, honest to Allah. I have my eyebrows in the top of my eyes, which is not normal, right? I mean, you you believe it? What happened? Whoa! This is God talking. Okay, what what is what is the promise? And here, guys, do you see? I told you without nose, without mouth. Read with me. Uh, believe in what we sent to you in Muhammad. Believe in Muhammad. Okay. Okay. If we don't believe, what will happen to you? Before we efface faces by making them like the back of a neck without nose and mouth. <laughs> what is my nose? I don't have one. It's gone. It's a miracle. Is it this is alone enough to prove that Muhammad is a false prophet?
why he did not keep his promise if we don't believe in Muhammad Allah will make our faces without nose and mouth and eyes how many of you dear Christians have no nose and eyes please give me one if you don't have be honest please <laughs> Oh boy. Oh mommy. Oh mommy, mommy blue. His face is blue. Oh mommy. I mean, this is so good, man. This is so good. The prophet is really something. He is something. This is the prophet of something. Samsung. Do we have any Muslim here? Hmm? Do we have any Muslim? Any Muslim in the bushes? Guys, why we have only 204 people? Okay, let me tell you this. If you don't invite in the coming 10 minutes 100 people, I am going to make you, I'm going to erase your faces, all of you. I will call Allah. Remember, I'm an Arab. I speak Arabic, not like you. I can talk directly to Allah. I do not need translator Yusuf Ali and those things. No, we speak to Allah directly. He speaks, he's an Arab like us. You know, we are Arab, we are cousins. I am going to call Allah and I'm going to erase your faces in the morning you wake up your wife she will not recognize you and I am sure you are saying to yourself why I did not invite my mother-in-law today so he can erase her face <laughs> I wake up in the morning I do not recognize her <laughs> and her mouth is gone she will never open her mouth again <laughs> <Oop>. <laughs> that's a good one oh boy hmm. <laughs> Do we have any Abdul? Is that a religion really? This is a religion and this is God. If we don't believe, we will make our faces without nose. And how we Arab, we are going to do like entertain ourselves. We Arab, like we, we, we love to touch our noses. And we do things with them too. You know, like you know, we, we dig inside. I mean, this is not right. This is not even fair. Any Abdul? Can you tell Allah I need a new face? My friend, you will have a new face anyway, don't you see? First of all, the benefit of this, you can do any crime and FBI cannot recognize you <laughs> because you have no face. I mean, it will be flat skin. <laughs> Yeah, in your ID is not going to say you have a blue eyes or a gray eyes or a brown eyes. It's going to say faceless. I don't know. Uh, we asked Renee to ask her to ask him if he is coming or not. But I don't know. Do we have any Abdul would like to call us? So who is Israel? Any Muslim can tell us who is Israel? You see, not even a single thing we say today, Muslims have answer for it. Nothing. I don't know. I don't know if he will be back. You know, for me, if he come back, he is back. We don't. I mean, this is his business. I feel sorry for him anyway. The Muslims accuse him already that he is not a Muslim. Each time I debate a Muslim, they accuse him not to be a Muslim. Even if I debate Muhammad, they will accuse him not to be a Muslim. Uh, <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul? Israel is not... Jacob, who is Israel Kaya? Can you tell us? Who is Israel? According to your knowledge, are you a Muslim Kaya? Who is a Muslim can tell us who is Israel? Raji Sami, how are you, Mr. Raji? Are you a Muslim, my friend? Who is a Muslim would like to call us and tell us who is 
Who is Israel? No, no, we know, we know, we will know who is he. We do not know. We don't want to know if he's a prophet or not. This is not our interest. First, we know we need to know when the Quran mentioned the name of a person. Shouldn't we know who is he? Who is he? Especially this name is not just a name mentioned once. It's mentioned a lot. I mean, this is a very important name in the Quran. Who is Israel? Anyone can tell us? If I say to you, those people are the children of Israel. Israel, he forbid himself from eating, etc. Israel is a guy, etc. Okay, but who is Israel? Who is Israel? Any Muslim have an idea? If if the Quran is the book of Allah and it is sent to us to guide us, okay. How this book will guide me, but yet doesn't say to me anything. Yeah, Bani Israel, chapter 2, verse number 40. This is the first time the name mentioned. Okay, who is Israel? Any Muslim can tell us? I want the answer from Islamic perspective not from the Bible my friend I want this is Quran Allah is talking here if Allah is sending us a book this book should not be enough for us to know a simple question like this how Allah he miss the important information to introduce to us who is this guy who is this guy huh how a Muslim now he will know who is Israel imagine yourself as a Muslim God forbid and you decide to ask yourself okay here we go i start reading the quran and now i arrive to verse number chapter 2 verse number 40. all right in chapter 40 it says oh children of israel who is israel any abdul this book is a stupid book it doesn't make sense. Suddenly, oh Israel, who is Israel? Who in the world this man? And then after that, the Quran keep repeating Israel, 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 Israel. Who is Israel? I want to know. Is that a legitimate question, Muslims? Who is Israel? Anyone have an answer? Maybe that story is not recorded in it. My, my friend, if this is the book of Allah and nothing is missing, so we cannot say the story is not recorded. Obviously, the story is not there. <laughs> the Muslim, they say nothing is missing from the Quran, even though the, the, the Hadith says, Aisha, she said, that the, the goat ate chapters from the Quran. But as long as the Muslims, they claim that this is a book is missing nothing. Who is Israel? Who is Abraham? Who is Moses? Who is Moses? Who is Idris? Who is Luqman? I mean, this book is collecting. Who is Muhammad? The Quran says Muhammad. Who is Muhammad? Anyone knows? The first time the name of Muhammad appeared in the Quran is in chapter 3, verse number 144. Okay. And Muhammad is a messenger. Okay, who is Muhammad? Even the most important man for them in the religion of Islam, there is no introduction for him. Muhammad is a prophet. Thank you very much for telling me, man. This is his job. This is not who is he. If a person is a doctor, this is not who is he. This is what he do. I'm asking who is Muhammad. If you say to me a name of a guy, his name is Muhammad. What does that mean? It just is his name. Where is he? Where is he from? Where does he live? Where is his family? Who is he? Anyone? So they don't know who is Israel. They don't know who is Muhammad. 
They don't know anything. What kind of book this book is? Okay, we will believe in a guy. His name is Muhammad. He's a messenger. Who is Muhammad? They don't know. Right? That's astonishing. Do we have any Muslim would like to say anything? But be careful. When we when you talk to a Christian prince, anything you will say is going to be used against you in the court of a Christian prince. Anyone? When you hear the Muslim speak about Muhammad, they say the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. When the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He shake his hands, Allah Wasallam, and he put his hand up, Allah Wasallam, and then look at the sky, Allah Wasallam. They cannot even say his name without saying a sentence after his name, praising him. This is terror. They are scared. Who dare to say his name without saying a long sentence, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? What does that mean? Allah Himself pray on him and salute him. You believe it? God of Islam pray on Muhammad and salute Muhammad. So who is Muhammad? What the meaning of Muhammad, the praised one? So who is Allah? If Muhammad is the praised one, who is Allah? The praised two? Muhammad is God in Islam. He's a messenger, but he's God. Anyone? Who is a Muslim would like to call me? May they, may they. We are short of Muslims. May they. You better may, call me before Allah. He change your faces. Remember, the one who don't believe in the Prophet, Allah will change his faces. Actually, I have a neighbor. He's a Jew. Honest to Allah. He did fishing in Saturday. And guys, he came back. He opened the door of his truck. I saw his feet coming. He have a feet of monkeys. True story. Did you hear about the story where Allah He made the Jews monkeys because they did fishing in Saturday? I mean, obviously, this is a true story coming from the true God. I know many people who did fishing in Saturday and Allah turned them to be pigs and monkeys. This is why Christian Prince is a smart, he will never ever do fishing in Saturday. I go only in Sabbath, I don't go in Saturday. Hmm? Any Abdul? Any Muslim? Allah made them pigs and monkeys because they did fishing in Saturday. Are you sure? So Allah, He don't. Allah, He don't make someone rape a woman, a pig. But if you do fishing in Saturday, Allah, He make you a pig. I mean, this is very convincing. Hmm. In chapter 7, verse number 163, there is a very amazing story. Let me let me read the story for you. Sit down, sit down, guys. Sit down, sit down, please. Yeah, bring your candies with you. All right. <clears throat> let us close some browsers. <clears throat> All right. You will love this story. It's so beautiful. Brother, this is so beautiful story. Bring your kids, brother. All right. I mean, this is one of the most beautiful story ever. I did 
read since I was a kid. And they question them, O oh Muhammad, in rebuke about the city that was by the sea, bordering the Red Sea. Bordering the Red Sea, the Jews, they were in the Red Sea. I mean, what's wrong with this Jew Quran? The Jewish they were in the Red Sea. Ah, this is in Egypt. Ah, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, Sharm el Sheikh. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sharm el Sheikh. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Bahar al Gulzum, and this is was elate about what befell in the inhabitants that they would transgress, violate the Sabbath by fishing which they had been commanded not to do in that day. I mean, look at this disaster. However, what happened to make the story simple? Those Jews, Allah, he made the fish come to them on the day of Sabbath, floating in the top of the water, in the service visible at the service of the water. So what happened when the day is not Saturday, the fish disappear. The Jewish guys, they go to fish, they find nothing. In Saturday, the fish, they start dancing in the top of the beach. Ah, 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 we are here. You cannot fish us. Ah, 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 la, 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 la. And the fish, they put their tongue out. La, 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 la. Come and get us. You cannot get us. Ta, 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 ta. Hello, hello. Take a selfie with me. I'm a big fish, but you cannot fish me. <laughs> mm, boy, that's a true story. So the fish disappeared the whole week, and this is the plan of Allah. Look at Allah, man. Look how good this Allah. I mean, he liked to play games, hide and seek. So the fish, they play hide and seek with the Jews. They they hide during the whole week and they seek it during Sabbath. <laughs> Oof, that's so good, man. I love it. Okay. But on the day they don't observe the Sabbath, they would not consecrate the Sabbath over the other days. And they would not come to them as a trial from God. <laughs> Guys, this is a trial. I mean, look at this game. Allah, he make the poor people die from hunger. The whole week there is no fish. Those are fishermen. He told them, listen to me. Listen to me. You fish only in Saturday. Okay? If you don't fish in Saturday, I will going to kill you. I will make you big some monkeys. And Allah, he make the fish come to them in Saturday. It's a trial from Allah. As you see, this is the plan of Allah. So the fish, they come to the beach. And they sing to the Jews, walking down the street, la 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 and you can do nothing about it, la 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 And the Jews like that, oh God, oh God, oh Allah, oh Allah. Look how big this fish, look, we are hungry, oh Allah. But they cannot fish, it's Saturday, it's Saturday, I cannot fish. And this has happened for many, many weeks. Every Saturday, the fish, they come to the beach and they do their show. And they jump in the top of the water. Any Abdul in the bushes? I don't know how many of you decide to convert to Islam after you learn this wise story. I'm afraid many of you will convert. I mean, this is a first of all, this is a very true story. I saw it even in Sindibad. In English, they call him Simbad, right? This is Simbad's story, my friend. Any Abdul? Allah is a very, very just as God. A bunch of hungry people, they did fishing on Saturday. Allah made them pigs and monkeys. People rape children, kill them, women, steal. I mean, all kinds of scam and guilt and criminal crimes. And Allah did not make them pigs. But if you do fishing on Saturday, Allah will destroy you. Don't ever do that. 
that's a very dangerous let us call Zachary Nayak and ask him what his opinion about this <clears throat> Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum uh, salam. That Dr. Zaykan Naik. <coughs> it's it me. Uh, brother, we have a question about the fishing story in Saturday in the Quran. The Christians are making fun of it. What do you say to them? Brother Sitter, first of all, the one who made this accusation against the Quran, his name is the Christian prince and he is an anonymous man. He don't even dare to throw his face. He is the same as the fifth who come in Saturday. They have no faith and they saw even the tail. Hello? Uh, Brother Zakir, are you there? Brother, brother, I, oh, yes, yes. So, brother, sister, the story in the Quran, if you go to the Quran, it's chapter 7, verse number 43. It said, that there is a people who used to live next to the village. And by the way, I know that village, I used to go over there. And until now, the village is exist in the Red Sea. But at that time, the Red Sea was not Red Sea, it was kind of yellow. Yeah, because people, they used to, they, you know, like uh, take a, like a, a shower with curry. So brother, Allah, he warned the dude. He told him at the trial, don't do fitting in Saturday. But those dudes are a evil. And Allah, he made the trial very simple. He made the fifth come to them only in Saturday. And the fifth, they do like Olympic, like, you know, the kitty, 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 and the kitty, 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 and they, jump, and they jump and they flip in the air, the same as you see with the dolphin. Like the dolphin, you know, the dolphin, they jump in the top of the water and they walk in the water. And those dudes, they disobey Allah. So he didn't decide to fish in Saturday. So Allah, he decided to make them pick the monkeys. And until now, this is proven by saying that big, big are dudes. Thank you very much. Any Muslim? Zakir Naik? <sighs> Unbelievable. I mean, this is knowledge. This is deep and this is knowledge. I mean, this is an answer you cannot miss. <laughs> Oh boy, I mean, this is a very okay. Hold on, hold on. You know, Muslims, who is this? What which village is that village? And what is people who the Allah made them pigs and monkeys for fishing? Where is that? Shouldn't we know? Do you have a proof? Do you have any proof that there is a human being he used to be a human being and Allah make him a pig? Hmm. Any Abdul? No, no, I, this is, um, I, I wasn't making Zach, I was calling Zachary Naik for real. That, that's Zachary Naik, don't you see how, if you see how much spit I have here in the in the, in the table, you will not believe it. <laughs> you go to, uh, you know, and, and the Muslims, you know, when they attend Zachary Naik, like everybody like, wow, look at this answer, um, astonishing answer, brother. Oof, oof. Uh, a Muslim woman, she asked Zakir Naik, actually not a Muslim, I think she is a Hindu. She asked a Muslim, uh, Zakir Naik, why women, there's no women a prophet in Islam. You can go and search the video on YouTube. He said, the sister there is asking a question. Why in Islam there is no women to the prophet? The answer is very simple. If a woman, she became a prophet, she had to lead the congregation. And if she lead the congregation, she had to do, wudu and to do which means you have to bend over. And if you bend over, it's going to disturb all the people behind that. Thank you very much. <laughs> you see what is stopping the women from being a prophet in Islam? It's her ass. She have to do sujood. She have to bow down. If she bow down, she will disturb all the everybody. All the Muslims will not think about Allah. They will look at her ass like, hey, wow, forget about Allah, man. Look at this. MashaAllah, this is bigger than my screen TV. And the Muslim like, wow, look at this answer. And like, hey, I mean, 
you Muslims, you have no dignity. This guy, you should be taken to jail. He's making fun of you. A woman, she can't be a prophet because of her ass. This is an answer according to Islam. Yes, this is according to Islam. May Allah ask you. Uh, by the way, I'm not making fun. Go and see the video. I wish I can play it for you. They will play, they will claim copyright. Go go search it right now. Why a woman she can't be a prophet in Islam, Zachary Naik? Search the video. Any Abdul? Hey, by the way, I mean, uh, trust me, if a woman she have a nice ass and she pray in front of the Muslims, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh mommy. Oh mommy, mommy blue. Oh mommy blue. You can imagine what will happen. I noticed like uh, a Friday, not many people online. I think because it's summertime, right? They go out with their friends. Hmm. Well, you better be careful. You better come back home before it is Sabbath. Allah will make you a pig and a monkey. You know, Muslims, why is Sabbath is so important to Allah in the time of the Jews and now it's not important? What happened? He want to make you pigs and monkeys for breaking Sabbath? So why you Muslim break Sabbath? Huh? You claim that Sabbath is was a day for Islam. This is not a day for the Jews. This is a Mahmoud as was a Muslim. Very disappointing. Not even a single answer. Uh, by the way, those who, uh, uh, if you get my books and if you finish reading chapter volume number one, uh, don't forget, please, to make a review. And if you finish uh, volume number two, make a review too. For those who don't have the book, you can get my books from Amazon.com. There's two volume. And the name of the book, this is a new one, last one. It's called Sex and Allah. And the topic is, it's about sex. It is about sex, so just take a note. It's about sexuality in Islam. It's full of information which everybody needs, especially if you are a person who debate with Muslims. And if you like to read more of my books, just type Christian Prince in your Amazon and you see the list of my books in many languages, including German, French, and we don't have a Spanish. Supposedly somebody wanted to translate to Spanish, but did not. How are you, Saud? Saud, the hadith is weak, right? About Moses? <laughs> No man Khan. <laughs> no man Khan, they said this hadith is weak, brother. <laughs> no man Khan. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. You see, guys, as long as the Muslims are answering who is Israel, let us go to the Muslim website and see who is Israel. This is a Muslim website. Ask Islam questions and answer. Sheikh Muhammad Saleh Al Munjid. Okay. My question is about the Jewish people. As the Quran told us, they were chased from Egypt. So, which the land did they went to that time? And also, were they an Egyptian citizen? Right from the time, or they were, or uh, uh, or uh, is their real uh, origin? Praise be to Allah. The Jews did not originate in Egypt; rather, originated in Palestine. Oh oh, oh oh, oh oh. <laughs> Oh boy, they just told us something very wrong. 
the Jews are from Palestine. So who is the Palestinian? <laughs> it just turned up to be that the Jews are the real Palestinians. <laughs> And this is their Muslim website, not my website. I swear by Allah. Now continue. But Egypt was one of significant stages in the history of the Jews. That because the Jewish religion began at the time of the Prophet of Allah, Yaqub. Who? Yaqub. Jacob. Peace be upon him. Was who? Who was born and lived in the Holy Land? Uh huh. Take a note, take a note, take a note, take a note, Muslims. Where is Jacob from? He's from the Holy Land. Okay. And was granted the honor of the prophethood there. Allah blessed him, blessed him with many children. <clears throat> many? How many? And part of his story is what Allah may he be glorified and exalted tell us in the detail of Surah of Yusuf. Details of Surah Yusuf. There's no details there. Where is the, where is the details? And then he says, <clears throat> When the brothers of Yusuf, peace upon him, faulted against their brother, story led him becoming a governor in Egypt and ended with Jacob. Peace be upon him and his son coming to Egypt and settling there under a, a spice uh, of Yusuf. All right, then he continued. <clears throat> and he quoted the Quran, chapter 2, verse number 99. Then when they entered into Yusuf, Joseph, he betook his parents to himself and said, Enter Egypt if Allah wills in security. Ew. Then he said, Did it not? leave Egypt until they left with the prophet of Allah Moses and after wandering in wonder wonderness for 40 years enter they enter the holy land of Palestine they were ruled by Suleiman peace upon him okay and then to tell us who is Jacob look what they do they go to the Bible <laughs> <laughs> Why Islam cannot explain itself by itself? Isn't it? This is the book you call it's corrupt. Why you want to introduce to us Jacob from the book of Genesis? Anyone want to tell us what is that for? The guy is asking as a Muslim, the guy is answering is a sheikh who is Jacob, who is Israel. No answer. Right? Who is, who is the Israel? We refer to a number of historical books that deal with the history of the Jews, the children of Israel. And we found that they are unimmunally agreed in the history summary, despite the fact that blah, 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 blah. See, history books. History books? Who is Israel? Any Muslim can tell me who is Israel. Our history begins with Israel, namely Yaqub, Ibn Ishaq, Ibn Ibrahim Al Khalil, Jacob, the son of Isaac, the son of Abraham, a close friend to Allah. Okay, where we can find this? What history? Where we can find who is Israel? So we cannot find it anywhere in Islam. As you see, all this rubbish talk, there's not no answer. Not even a single verse in the Quran tell us who is this man Israel. Any Abdul? Have an answer. Yeah, because because the Jews in chapter 5, verse number 20, 21, 22, 23, they refused to kill the Palestinians, so Allah, he punished them to be lost in the desert for 40 years for not doing jihad. 
Yeah, we have 225 people. What what the point? There's not there's no Muslim there to call us. We have a book. <clears throat> it says there is a guy, his name is Muhammad. We asked the Muslim Jews, Muhammad didn't know. Muhammad is a messenger of Allah. Who is Muhammad? Anyone can tell us? Where we can find the information about the guy, his name is Muhammad, nowhere can be found. They will say to you, it is written in different books. So Allah did not tell us who is Muhammad. Allah have time to tell us about the ant speaking to Solomon. Uh-huh. Allah, he have time to tell us about the flying birds who carry rocks and throw it at the army of Abraham. Allah have time to tell us about the thunder who is an angel. Allah have time to tell us about the women who have no hair in her legs. Allah have time to tell us about seven sleepers and their dogs, which is a story told from the Christians, and it's a fiction story. Allah have time to tell us about the flying carpet of Solomon. Allah have time to tell us about the, 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 the ring of the Lord. Right? Allah have time for all the silly stuff. When it's come to a very serious question, Allah have no time to tell us. Who is Israel? Who is Muhammad? No, no, we cannot act. We cannot act. No, my friend, Rob, no, we cannot do that. The Muslim, they would think Christian Prince is hiring somebody. <laughs> you know, already I debated the guy from Al Azhar University. They accuse him to be a liar. He's paid by me. You believe it? Because they get the most weak religion. Each time we debate a Muslim, they say he's hired by him. <clears throat> so any Muslim can tell us? You do not know who is Muhammad. Here we go, the Quran in front of me. I challenge any Muslim to tell me who is Muhammad. The Quran mentioned a guy, his name is Muhammad. The Quran mentioned a guy, his name is Ahmad. Who is Ahmad and who is Muhammad? You don't know. You will say to me, he's a prophet. Okay, who is he? Oh, what you know, he's a prophet. Who is he? Oh, we have to go to the book of Sirah. But you Muslim, you say to us, the book of Sirah is full of lies about the prophet. Do you believe in it or you don't? Either the ones who wrote the books are trustworthy and you take everything they say, or they are not. But obviously, you take as you wish. Who is Israel? Isa is the son of Maryam. Who is Isa? I challenge any Muslim to tell me where he got the name Isa from. Who is Isa? In which book this book, this name appear? Isa. Suddenly we have Isa. We Arab and we are Christians. We never use the word Isa. We don't know what Isa is. Ask any Arab Christian. He will say to you, the word we use for the Messiah, we call him Yeshua, which is coming from the word Yeshua. So in Arabic is Yeshua. And actually it's not even Arabic. This is Aramaic. So Yeshua, Yeshua, Messiah, Al Messiah in Arabic, Messiah, Messiah. So that's it. We don't have Isa. Who's Isa? Who is Isa? I want to know. This religion is the most weird, stupid religion. Isa, just to just to show you something. Hold on. <clears throat> just to show you the logic of of uh, Muhammad chapter 31 verse number 19 Luqman is a wise man and he is teaching his son the wisdom of Allah and look what Allah said to Luqman to say. And be moderate in the in the peace, and lower the voice for the harshest of sound without a dot is the bear, the brain of an ass. What? <laughs> oh boy, that is the wisdom. This guy is his son. He is telling him, your voice is a voice of a donkey. And this is the most hard voice for Allah. 
Allah, he heard the voice of the donkeys now. And where is the, what is the wisdom here? What what does that mean? What does that mean? Let it go, let it go, let it go. And who is his son? I don't know. Let it go. Just to show you another uh, another wisdom of Allah. Allah is the one in the Quran. He tells us that he is the one who created horses and a mule and donkeys. Why? Hold on. Chapter 16, verse number 8. Hmm. And he has created horses, mules, and donkeys for you to ride. This is serious. And he created other things which you have no knowledge of. Do you know what the Muslim they say about this one? He has created other things you have no knowledge of. He said, this is the airplane. <laughs> it turned to be the airplane is made by Allah too. Muslims, where is the camel? Allah is counting for you what he created for you for transportation. Do you know how many animals are used for transportation around the world? And those are just a few of them. In India, they use the elephant. In South America, they use what what they call that thing. Somebody tell me the name in South America. What they call it? What they use in South America? Have nice fur. Beautiful animal. Llama, llama. So Allah is quoting for us the, just the donkey, and Allah is knowledge is limited, man. There's tons of animals, the people, they use them for, for transportation, depend on the location. So what a donkey and a mule and horse? That's it? That's all what Allah, he knows? Uh, giving, giving. My friend, anyone want to find something in the screen, I will tell you how easy to find it. Do this. You can freeze the video anytime. And you can, let us say, uh, write exactly with the with the comma in your screen the following, like four or five words, and type it in Google. You will find exactly the verse. You see how easy it is? <clears throat> Anytime you want to find something we said in the screen, you can do that. Hey, how are you, Saud? How are you? How is your dad doing? So I would be careful. If you do fishing in, in, in Saturday, Allah will make you a, a pig. <laughs> so, you know, here you will see the knowledge of Allah. Allah create things you are unaware of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what Allah he used for transportation? He is carried by eight angels. Each angel have four faces. <clears throat> guys did you did you download the video yesterday the one we made yesterday about the rock of Moses don't forget to download it you can cut the pieces by the way you can make it shorter if you want but yeah what about the flying horse of Muhammad and the flying horse of Suleiman and the flying carpet of Suleiman too See the Quran speak about the flying carpet, and if you go and read the interpretation, let us see it. Hold on. Wali Sulaiman al Rihu Asifatan Tajribi Amrihi. Chapter twenty one, verse number eighty one. All right, let us go and see. <coughs> Don't laugh. It's coming. Oh, come on, come on, come on.
Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> Let us see the story of Suleiman. Here we go. And to Suleiman, we subjugated the wind strongly. Ragging means we subjugated the strong wind to Suleiman, running by his command toward the land which we blessed, meaning the land of Hasham, Great Syria. All right, what does that mean? Read carefully with me. And of everything we are all knower, he had a mat made of wood on which he would place all the equipment of his kingship, horses, camels, tents, troops, then would command the wind to carry it. Jump in the mat. We are going to move in five minutes. All the soldiers, the general, the chicken, the army. By the way, so a man, he have an army of a chicken. In case you not know, I can show it to you. I will show it to you. I will show it to you. I will show it to you. Army of chickens. General Chicken KFC is in the army of Suleiman. You believe it? Hold on. Get ready, the King Suleiman ordered all the army, horses, chicken, goat, cows. Meh, meh. This is a sheep, have the voice of a horse. <laughs> meh. It's like it's like it's uh, it's like sheepy horses. And troops, then he would command the wind to carry it. If 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 this is a true, true story. I mean, who in the world cannot believe in this story? And you are telling me the prophet is not a prophet? Are you out of your mind? What do you want more proof of this? I don't know. Those kuffar are disgusting. They don't want to believe anyway. I mean, even if the prophet told them all the truth, still they don't want to believe. Crazy people. Okay. And he would go underneath it. The wind would carry it. And they call the wind he. He would go underneath it and it would carry him aloft, shedding him and protecting him from the heat. Now, what it says here that <clears throat> Suleiman, Suleiman, he have a flying carpet, but Suleiman is not in the carpet. Anyone understand what he's saying here? Anyone understand what he's saying? Suleiman himself is not on the carpet. Suleiman, he have a flying horse. He is under the flying carpet. Sometimes he go in the top of flying carpet, sometimes. However, he is always protected by the shade. Either by the flying carpet in the top of him, which is army, his army in the flight carpet, and he is in the horse. Flying horses, by the way, if you go and live in my city where I'm coming from, which is very, very beautiful, by the way, you know, just watch when you walk in the street. Uh, there, we don't drive cars, we have a flying carpet and we have a flying horses. Me, I remember, I don't want to tell you a story about my life, but this is a true story. This is a very true story. I used to go and do shopping in uh, Bangladesh and take a breakfast in India and uh, buy some, uh, you know, like uh, coconut from Alaska. And in my way, I stop, uh, you know, to buy uh, some ice from Brazil. And then I go to, because I want to cool down, I go to Saudi Arabia, it's cold there. And then I come back home. All of this is not even in two hours with the flying horse or the carpet. Very fast. Because here it says in the front of you, by the way, how fast it is. You see, here it says that he can go to any place in very fast speed. Uh, 
now here he continue <clears throat> and just to let you know Suleiman he used to have divers who dive for him to pick for him jewelries from the ocean but those divers they are shaitan shayateen satans I mean this guy Suleiman everybody work for him even satans work for him Satan satans not one many many they dive every day they are divers their job is just to dive and get jewelries for Suleiman <laughs> I wish I can be Suleiman for one day man I mean this is fun hey Salomon how are you I mean can't you see how fun it is to be Suleiman I mean what happened to this guy flying carpet flying horses shaitans dive for him I mean his world is a crazy man it's like a it's like the Lord of the Ring even even the Lord of the Ring is not like that close your eyes and imagine yourself that you are Suleiman at that time so what Suleiman he have in his palace he have genies and shaitans their job is to build for him palaces in the speed of light and even they make statues for him and decorate it with jewelries he have Satan's who die for him in the ocean to get him the priceless diamonds and pearls He have flying carpet He have an army. Nobody can count. He have an army even from birds He have generals are birds. He have ministers who they are birds All of this in the palace of brother Suleiman and you are telling me you are not believing in Islam yet? What's wrong with you? And also the shaitan, every kind of builder and diver. Oh boy, I mean, look here. You see, shaitan, they have a profession too. Some of them, they teach you salsa. Salsa. He is a shaitan, but he dies. He is a shaitan, but he dies. He is a shaitan, but he built. He is a shaitan. He he he. He he he. Salsa. Salsa, salsa time, salsa, salsa story, salsa, salsa, this is salsa story, salsa story, salsa, salsa God, this is a story, story, salsa, 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 salsa God, this is Allah, Allah story, this is salsa, salsa God, da 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 Salsa Diver brother, diver Salsa 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 Allah Check it Check it or break it Everything is coming from Allah we must believe in Allah don't lie Read with me I love it This is how we do it Do it Dun ta 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 salsa 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 god salsa 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 story salsa prophet salsa god salsa crazy salsa Quran salsa madness salsa Allah salsa 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 stupid salsa 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 people salsa people finito hey thank you thank you thank you very much thank you sit down please sit down I appreciate you for listening to the beautiful Quran. This is amazing, beautiful Quran. Allah, He gave Suleiman divers and builders, and they are shaitan. See, guys, even shaitan, they go to school to learn the profession and career. Shaitan here, the one in the right, his job is a builder, which means he is certified builder, and he build palaces for you according to the code of the city hall. The other one is a diver. He took a lot of the classes of Scooby-Doo, 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 scooby, -Doo, scooby, 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 scooby -Doo. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. This is so good. This is so beautiful. Must be true. 
I mean, who can say this is not true? Who can deny the truth here? Shaitan, even Shaitan, or the Muslim prophet, Shaitan is working for him. Solomon is a Muslim prophet, but this yet his employee is Shaitan. <laughs> nice to meet you. Let us continue. I mean, what's a big deal, guys? Why you make a big story of it? You never heard of a story like this before? Come on, be realistic. And it was we who guarded them. You see, see, they are yes, they are shaitan, but they are under control. You see the logic. Look at the logic. Means Allah protected him, lest any of those shaitan or shayateen did any harm to him. If 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 you see Allah, He sent him the shaitan to work for him, but He sent him protection too. <laughs> Allah is all knowledgeable. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so he was so he was in charge of them, and if he wanted, he could set free or detain whoever, whoever among them he wished. <laughs> Put the shaitan in jail. Yes, this one, and this one free him, and that one, that one. I want you to punish him by making him drinking whiskey. Or beer. That's true story. وَآخَرِينَ مُقَرَّنِينَ فِي الْأَصْفَادِ If if if, and some of them they are chains with their legs and their feet. Ah, there is something I forgot to mention to you. Just to tell you how fast this flying carpet is. It says. Its morning was a month journey, and its afternoon was a month journey. Oh. The morning, the month journey journey is like about two hours of the flying carpet is the same distance you need to to travel for a month. Do you see how fast is Jumbo Mambo? Boeing seven 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 Boeing Boeing Boeing. The flying carpet of a prophet, Suleiman. Hmm. I know. I am truly convinced that Quran must be true book of God. If it is not, how Suleiman can fly like this? You tell me. Hey, Uncle Suleiman, Uncle Suleiman. I saw Uncle Suleiman on top of the sky. He's there and the flying carpet. And the flying carpet have, by the way, in English translation, they don't say the truth. You see, in the Arabic, if I go, if I go and show you the Arabic of the tafsir, it says that in the top of his flying carpet, there is 600,000 chairs. Where, where, where is the description is gone? 600,000 chairs. They are gone. I don't know what, what to say. Where, what's wrong with the Muslims? Why always they eat the interpretation of why in Arabic is not the same as in English? Very disappointing. Let us see if we can find something in English. Yeah, all of this in English, it doesn't say anything. If we go to the Arabic, let us go to the Arabic. Okay, this is Ibn Kathir in Arabic. And you will see how it is in Arabic, different from Ibn Kathir in English. Okay. 
screen. Let us see. Tons of stories. Okay. Here the story in Arabic. It says, and it is a, 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 a carpet made of wood. In the top of it is going to put in the top of it whatever he needs for his kingdomship of horses, camels, tents, and army, and soldiers. And then he command the wind to carry it. So the, the wind will go underneath of it and is going to carry him and his army. And then the birds will fly in the top of him and is going to protect him from the heat until he arrive to whatever Allah he wish. Then he continue. All right. You see here, the story is not showing. In Ibn Kathir in English. And there it says, and it's and it is used to have six hundred thousand chair for uh, uh, Suleiman in the top of flying carpet. You know what? Let me go in that website and see. Maybe if we flip the page, maybe we'll find it there. You know, maybe they are not hiding the thing. But I don't. I don't. I doubt. Let us go. Hold on. <clears throat> Maybe let us go to eighty-three, eighty-four, or maybe we go to eighty-three, eighty-three. Yeah, here there's nothing. Okay, go back. I'm telling you, the in, in Arabic is different from English. I mean, where where the story? Where is the where is the rest of the story in Arabic? Is gone. It's gone. See, it's gone. Where is the six hundred thousand chairs? Let me search in the page. Maybe I miss it. No, we can't feel we can't find it. So they took all the story about the six hundred thousand shares. Hey guys, this is the this is the link. I don't know if you can post it there. Or you can go to the same website, tafsiralislam.com, click at Arabic and then click at tafsir because I think the link is so long to go. All right. Read with me. I change any Muslim to say it is not true. Why in English? Why Ibn Kathir in English doesn't have the rest of the story? It says, and Jubair he said that Suleiman used to sit with six hundred thousand chair in the top of his flying carpet, and in the top of it, behind those six thousand chairs, is going to sit those believers of the human, and then behind them is going to be the genie, and then he ordered the birds. To cover them and shade, shade, like make a shade. Do you know how much poo poo the bird will do in the top of you if they are shading you? I mean, this is a lot of shitty shade. And then he ordered the wind to carry him. And then it says here, Suleiman, he used to order the wind. And then the wind will gather together like a great, uh, uh, like bird. And then it's going like a, like a, like a mountain. And then he ordered his bed to be carried up. And then he called his flying horse. Bifarasim in the Watil Ajniha. And then he go up to the top of his bed, which means he don't go like there is a flying carpet, yes, but then the throne of Suleiman is high. 
in order to go up Suleiman he used a flying horse and then he go to his throne like this the, the throne of Suleiman is, is more glorious than the, the throne of Allah look at this and then he ordered the wind so it lift up with all the honor to the sky and he is putting his head down and he is looking around him right and left uh, praising Allah okay uh, yeah and then the story continue about the diver but you see in our in the English translation the story is gone all this though all of this part of the story is gone why you see here is speaking about the shaitan is jailed if we go to the English one which means the story of the 600,000 shares should be here and actually I remember before it used to be in this website in Ibn Kathir I think they took it off because they found it very funny very stupid so they decided to take it off otherwise where it is any Muslim have an idea I cannot find the chairs I cannot find anything oh do we have any Muslim here would like say to say something about this amazing Quran so Allah have time to tell us all those stupid story but yet he don't have time to tell us who is Israel have all the time to tell us stories about the speaking ant speaking to other ants and Suleiman he heard her speech by the way ants are deaf and you cannot hear their speech and Allah he taught Suleiman the language of the birds but yet he understand the language of the ants that's how wise the one who wrote the Quran all those stories Muhammad he stole from the legions of the Jews and he claimed that they are coming from his God all those stories are stories the kids of the Jews used to speak about around Muhammad when he was living with them this is where he got his stories from Muhammad is a victim of the Jews if you think about it they get him busted he believed in those stories because he's an idiot ignorant and he took them for granted flying carpet guys any anyone knows how Suleiman he lost his kingdom who remember who remember Actually, the story can be found in Ibn Kathir. Do you remember? <clears throat> the ring. What happened to the ring? Suleiman, he wanted to go to the bathroom. Ah, I mean, th things happened. <laughs> Excuse my language. Shit happened. <laughs> And Suleiman is very careful not to take the ring of Allah with him. So always he give his ring to his wife. Her name is Al-Jarada. When Suleiman was in the bathroom doing his business, the shaitan come and he play, he, he cloned the look of Suleiman and he asked the wife of Suleiman to give him the ring. She thought this is her husband, so she gave him the ring. After she gave him the ring, he wore the ring and he became the king. And this is where the story of the Lord of the Ring is coming from. Ta -da -da -da. Ta -da -da -da. <laughs> this is Islam. Is a collection of stories, fictions, fairy tales, and Muhammad because he's a fake man. He took whatever story around him and he make it as it's coming. Remember, Muhammad, when he speak about those stories, he claimed they are coming from his God. He's not copying the the the, the people in the street repeating fictions and fairy tale stories. No, 
he claimed that this is his God his God is telling him this so Muslims cannot say oh well you know this is fiction stories you know it is Allah speaking And if Allah is speaking, I mean, who can complain? Any Muslim? <clears throat> I'll try to find you something in English so you can read. <clears throat> Okay. The ring. Where is the ring? Okay, here I found something in English. Let us see. Maybe we should continue the story of the ring tomorrow. Have you ever read the Bible? Yeah, I read the Bible. The Bible is speak about the ring, my friend. The Bible is speak about the ring. You want to show me? The ring of Suleiman? The flying carpet of Suleiman? Hmm. Do we have any Muslim here? All right, guys. I think uh, Friday is kind of not busy because people they get out. Tomorrow we will be here around four thirty, so be with us. And uh, tomorrow we hope that uh, Imam Sheikh Rohi from Al Azhar University, he will be with us because last time we have a debate with him. He said, uh, I've, "I asked him if he would like to come on Saturday." He said, "Inshallah." Which means he said yes. So mostly we will have him here around 4:30 as usual, and we will have a nice discussion with Sheikh um, Ruhi, who have a PhD in Islam. So we hope it's going to be good, and we will have a good time. Uh, and I hope tomorrow we will have some Muslims who are willing to call us and prove to us in any way, any mean of their choice that Islam is really a religion coming from what they call the true God you know one of the funny things about Muslims they say to you that Allah is one I mean who care if Allah is one or two or five what we care for if this is a true or not just to make it simple for you if there was there is ten gods if they are ten well they are ten if there is none there is none the number doesn't make any difference you worship one God, you worship two, you worship five. If it is false, it's false. Who care? So they think by saying we worship one God, they get something. You get nothing. Because if it's one or 70, what if there are 70 gods? Still, you have to worship them. So being 70 or being one will not make a difference. The question is, is your God is exist? If your God is exist, how he says such a stupid stories like this? How someone he is God, he says such a crazy mad stuff like this. What the point of this story? Why Allah he gives Suleiman this ring, flying carpet, flying horse, a woman, uh, the, the bird he he go to look for Suleiman for a woman she have hair, no hair in her legs. Like why women at that time of Suleiman they are like monkeys, chimpanzee. You Muslim believe in Darwin? In the time of Suleiman, women they are chimpanzee. What do you mean looking for a woman? She have no hair on her legs. And then the shayateen, they made her legs full of hair. I mean, what is that? This drama is amazing. 
so you believe in one God you believe in thank God it's not really important the important is who is your God who is the one who you believe in such a person who teaches us stupid things cannot be God as simple as that he's one he's five he's seven this is not important what if somebody believe in 80 gods and but they are a true God okay he is the winner because they are true God if this is true it's not about 80 or one it's about who have the true belief Muslims don't want to use their brain They have no problem to accept all those fictions stupid stories Which have no Ground except Muhammad copying the Jews And the Jews they, they go and go and read the Talmud you would die for you would die laughing Everything Muhammad he have he got it from somebody have you ever ever asked yourself why the Muslims don't be, don't make fun of you when you say Mary she was virgin when she gave birth to Jesus? Why the Muslim don't laugh at us if we say that? Because it says in the Quran, Mary she was a virgin. If the Quran did not say that, the Muslim would be making fun of you like crazy, and they would accuse you to be crazy. Right? Just because it says that, they take it for granted. Suddenly. Suddenly, the Muslim didn't want to think about logic. Is it logical that women should give a birth to a child without a father? Since when those things happen? And then you ask them, okay, why Jesus don't have a father? They don't know what to answer. I mean, what? Why? Miracle? What? The, what the point of this miracle? My mother, she can claim that she gave birth to me without a father. How you can prove such a miracle where nobody can witness to it? There must be a point of this thing. Accepting such a thing have to have a consequence a Person coming from no father. You want to say to me Adam have no father. Are you stupid? Adam is not born The Quran chapter 25 verse number 54 says that everyone After Adam is coming from sexual relationship, but Jesus is an exception. Why? You need to tell me why why you believe in this what the point of this belief but they don't know because Muhammad is copying the Christians. Muhammad he copied the Jews when he was trying to convince the Jews that he is a Jew. That's why he was praying to the direction of Jerusalem most of his life. When he noticed that the Jews will not believe in him anyway, so he decided to switch direction of the prayer to Kaaba, as Umar al-Khattab advised him. A person was praying all his life after he claimed to be a prophet, I mean, to Jerusalem. Why suddenly he switched at the end of his life to the Kaaba? Simply because now he killed the Jews. There's no Jews left. He killed them all. He's victorious. He do not need to satisfy them. With the Jews, he is a Jew. Hello? <clears throat> Hello? Hello, my friend. Uh, hey, Muhammad, how are you? How are you? I'm fine. You're fine. What do you want What's to say to us? Well, we are talking about Israel. Maybe you can help us. Who is Israel? Uh, in, in which. Uh, hmm? Are you discussing the same color or what? Yeah, so the, the, the Quran. No, no, we're talking about before about Israel. Actually, this is what topic is about. About Israel. There's a guy in the Quran, his name is Israel. Who is Israel? Huh? It, it doesn't matter any verse in the Quran of your choice. Who is Israel? No, no, just, uh, just two, okay. Uh, chapter, chap two, chapter two, the, chapter two, the, chapter two, verse number forty. It keeps saying, "Yeah, Bani Israel." Who is Israel? Uh, 
which uh, Moses? Huh? The prophet Moses, which uh, which is the the people who who. I'm Allah not talking about the people. I'm talking about Israel. It says the children of Israel. The children of Israel. Who is Israel? It's just, uh, uh, just uh, the people who Allah sent him uh, Moses. My friend, I, just, I, I know there are the people who Musa sent to them, no problem, but they are the children of a guy, his name is Israel. Who is Israel? Quran doesn't, doesn't tell us anything about this. So the Quran what doesn't is say, the, what is the, okay, hold on. So you just say the Quran never said anything about this. So now how we will know who is Israel? Israel? Allah called him. Uh, the people of Israel, what, okay, guys, what, what the, we will benefit about about, okay. about knowing Israel or not? Well, it's very important because the Quran says that this guy is a prophet and this guy he is a uh, is in his nation named after him. So, why we will not know who is Israel? So, you just admitted that there's nowhere in the Quran speaking saying who is Israel, and you are saying what is the benefit. Of knowing, well, we need to know who. No, is, uh, when you say, when you say, when you introduce to me a nation, listen, listen. When you introduce to me, no benefit for what, what, what Allah sends and Israel. Who is Israel? You have no benefit to know. Or no, no, there is a benefit. There is a benefit of knowing because he is he is naming them the children of Israel. That's mean it's important to know that they are the children of Israel. So don't tell me is the, what the benefit. Otherwise, why Allah He named them the children of Israel? He can call them the people who follow Moses. He named them the children of Israel. So it's not important to know who is Israel, but He named them the children of Israel. That's funny. It's not uh, sure. So, so tell me what the meaning of Israel. I'm asking you, who's Israel? You don't even know what Israel means. Do you know what Israel means? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so in Just the whole Quran, in the whole Quran, there's nowhere it's explained yeah. to us who is Israel. In the whole, your prophet never uh -huh. explained what even Israel mean. So how you as a Muslim would know who is Israel and what Israel mean? So yeah, uh, so uh, no, so Quran the prophets never talk about them. Hmm. Let's not answer. What? Don't you say again. Say again. In the prophet, are you are you saying that uh, God, uh, Quran, and the prophet himself never talk about Israel? No, who is Israel? Tell me. No. Here we go. I'm asking you. Who is Israel? Tell me. You tell me. Who is Israel? Based in your base on Islam, who is Israel? Oh, there's okay, tons, for, tons of verses speaking okay, about Israel. Okay. Who is Israel? To, for for Muslims, for Muslims, yeah, to know anything in the past. The only thing, the only is the Quran and the Prophet. If the, if the Prophet and the Quran himself <laughs> never tell him what is, what is, how we can know it. This is the point. So, guys, did you hear it? Mr. Muhammad said, the point. if the Quran, if the Quran and the Prophet never spoke about it, so how would the benefit of knowing it? You cannot know it. It's not important. But 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 it's important, obviously, what because is? because if this guy is not important, why your God? He said his name thirty-two times in the Quran. How many times your Prophet said the word Muhammad in the Quran? Okay, are you saying are you saying anything that Allah mentioned? He is he is very important to, to my friend. I, uh, my friend uh, is Muhammad important person or not? Is the message of Muhammad is not Muhammad himself. The message is the important. Is is, the he, is, Allah. He, is he important or not? Either you say yes or you say no. Who oh. is your prophet Muhammad important? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, the Quran says Muhammad. Who is Muhammad? The Quran mentioned the name of Muhammad four times in the Quran. Who is Muhammad? Huh? Who is Muhammad? The, our prophet. Who is your prophet? Who is Muhammad? I'm not asking you his prophet or not. His prophet is his job. Okay, who is Muhammad? If I am a person who want to know about a, a man who is the prophet of God, the Quran said to me his name is Muhammad. Who is Muhammad? Okay, you see, is, you see, Muslims, you do not, you do not know, you Muslim do not know who is Israel. Okay, you don't even know who is Muhammad. Okay, if I'm reading the Quran now, I have the whole, 
where it says Muhammad ibn Abdullah, where it says, where in the Quran it says Muhammad is ibn Abdullah, where it says that? In the hadith, in the hadith, so you Muslims, in order to know the Islam, you have to go by the hadith, you don't have, you do not need the Quran. So you are saying to me, you are saying to me, even your prophet, never been explained by Allah to introduce him to us, who is he? But is the hadith is the, is the hadith trustworthy in Islam? Is the hadith trustworthy? In the Quran, Allah says, "Is the hadith believe in Allah?" Yeah, I will speak to you. Okay, who, Quran, and who is Muhammad? Okay, believe in Allah and believe in Muhammad. Who is Muhammad? I, I will tell you. The Quran says, "In the Quran, even that Muhammad is from Allah, it's not from himself." So that Muhammad said it's from Allah. It's like the Quran. Okay, shouldn't we know who is Muhammad first? Anything, guys, Muhammad, he say it's from Allah. Who is Muhammad? <laughs> Muhammad, he said in the hadith, yeah. who, who is Muhammad in the hadith? But is the hadith is, is, a, is a perfect books? The hadith is the spirit of Allah from the, 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 the prophets. My friend, do you Muslim trust the hadith? Are you seeing? Are you seeing? Are you seeing that Muhammad speak from himself? My friend, I don't care if he speak from himself or not. I'm asking you, who is Muhammad? Based, ah, on, the, based on the Quran, based on the Quran. Ah. If I am reading the Quran Muslims and Allah He says to me, okay, you see, did Muhammad order you to write the Hadith? What? Did your Prophet order you to write the Hadith? Right. Did your prophet order you to write the hadith? The Muslims, the scholars, uh -huh. and others write the hadith. Yeah, but did your In prophet word, did your did your prophet order you to read to write the hadith? According to the Sahih Hadith, it says that your prophet in Sahih Muslim says he said, "Don't take down anything from me, and he who took down anything from me except the Quran." You should efface that and narrate from me. So your prophet saying that hadith is not should not be written. Okay, this at is his time, at his time. But when he died, my, uh, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. If he, if he say don't write it, it's mean don't write it. This at is his time. so. If if the Muslim did not write it in his time, they are allowed to write it later. Are you kidding me? So he is saying to you, don't write the hadith, and if you write, if you write it, erase it. Okay, hold on, just to show you how, just to show you, just to show you how stupid what you said. Did your prophet ever say it? Okay, write, write hadith after I die. Did he say that? Did the prophet say to him, don't, don't memorize the hadith? He said, don't, don't. Yes, he said, don't, because right here is about not to collect anything I say. Anything except the Quran. He said that. He said that. He said you should not write down anything except the Quran. Now you memorize the hadith. Can you memorize the hadith? Can you really memorize? It's, 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 there's endless numbers of hadith. You can and this is this is a joke. Listen. So now, so now your prophet he forbid you from writing hadith. How I can how I can know who is Muhammad? Do you know why? What? Because Sahaba don't need to to watch it, he memorize it. But after after the the the, the, the die, okay. Let me ask you, Al Bukhari did, did Al Bukhari did Al Bukhari, did Al -Bukhari saw your prophet? Did Al Bukhari say your prophet? Did he ever saw your prophet? We oui. did Al Bukhari saw oui. your prophet? Did Al Bukhari saw your prophet? Ever Bukhari, yeah. Bukhari he takes the from others who who. who? Who everybody who, who, everybody died who who who, 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 who? he huh? never al-bukhari never met any one of those who live in the time of muhammad he came long after muhammad so how al-bukhari he took from them i will show you how al-bukhari can you take how al-bukhari can take from people they aren't exist no more they are dead everybody's dead oh my god my yeah. friend don't say oh my god so oh my oh my allah yes al-bukhari never met your prophet what what year al-bukhari was exist what year al-bukhari was exist bukhari he, 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 he what he what 
Al Bukhari, did he meet your prophet? He didn't meet the prophet. Okay, so how he know? So how he? How how you trust those who they are carrying through generations the statement and stories? How we can trust people saying things in the street? This is what you are saying to me. Al Bukhari he collected a story from the street. People they say the prophet said that the prophet said that everybody make up a story and then we make it a book. Al Bukhari himself he never heard. Al Bukhari himself he never he never heard. Listen, did did Al Bukhari meet any of the companion of your prophet? He never met. He never, he never met him. But so, he takes so, from so, the so how you can take how you can take it? Prophet. How you can take it from a person? You don't even have a book of Al Bukhari. Do you have a book of Al Bukhari? We memorize it. We don't read the book. What do you mean you don't memorize, have memorize it? How you can memorize the books, man? How? Okay, you memorize the Bukhari. Okay, start. I read, uh, uh, from your memory. Tell me Hadith number one in Al Bukhari. You said we memorize it. What you, you I, just said, you a, just said, you just said, we memorize, we just, we just said, we memorize Al Hadith from Al Bukhari. Okay, tell me Hadith number one in the first book of Al Bukhari. What is the book number one and what is the first Hadith? You misunderstand me. It's not me who, who memorize it, the people who meet the, the Bukhari who memorize it after generation after generation. It's not me. Ah, the people. Ah, okay. But Al Bukhari, he memorized it from who? Where he where he is coming from? Where is guys coming from? from? From his teacher. From his teacher. Okay, well his teacher was coming from where? Where he got those hadith? This How somebody can memorize? Listen, listen, listen. listen. Do you really believe that a guy he can memorize tens of thousands of hadith? Do you really believe in that? Yes, my friend. Go go and search the the, the Okay, listen. The, last, the time, la the last time me he, and you he, last time he, me he, and you he, he, oh, listen, listen. Last time me and you we talk. Let, let me show you. Let me show you how crazy what you say. Last time we speak me and you. Listen, Muhammad. Three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, me and you we talk. Do you remember the topic? Yes. What is the topic? About Allah, the attribution of Allah. About what? Of Allah. The attribute of Allah, what we spoke about. Tell me, as long as you can remember the hadith, I'm talking about three weeks ago, not 300 years ago. What we said, and tell me word by word what I said to you and what you said to me. This is hadith. Tell you, me. See, you see, my friend, my job is not the hadith, but the job of Bukhari. His what life, job of he, Bukhari? He, How Al Bukhari? He, he never heard. Like Guys, this guy, he never saw Muhammad, never been with Muhammad, never saw any one of those who he knows Muhammad. Did. How he can find see, out? Listen. How he can person. find out? I uh, how, my friend, how he can memorize he, all those stories? From, number one. How he can? Okay, what is his book? Okay, listen, listen. I want. Uh, listen, listen, Muhammad, Muhammad. I want you to show me the book of Al Bukhari. There's no book. It's called Al Bukhari. Do you have it? We have a hadith of Bukhari. We don't need the book. What do you mean you do not need the book? So how you get the hadith of Al Bukhari if you don't have the book? <laughs> Guys, even the book of Al Bukhari, even the book of Al Bukhari, listen, Abdul, even the book of Al Bukhari, you don't have it. So, where do you get Al Bukhari from? You don't have the book of Sahih Muslim. So, how you say we have Sahih Muslim? You don't have the book of Sahih Muslim. All what we see in front of us, this is a collection. People they claim Al Bukhari, he said so. Where is Al Bukhari? And you believe it. So, look and at this, look at this madness, look at this madness. Bukhari never saw Muhammad, never met anyone he met Muhammad, never speak even the... the, the, the uh, show me, show the, me, show me, so, uh, uh, you, you claim your is Bukhari never my, met someone my friend, who speaks Muhammad, show me... My friend, according, according to your, uh, according to your scholars, Al-Bukhari is, is, is born in the year 810. Eight hundred, eight hundred ten, and he died in eight hundred seventy. So how this guy he can write about your prophet and where is his book? You so you you, you just admitted he never met your prophet, he never saw your prophet. He's not even an Arab. He is not even from the Arabian Peninsula. He is not. He is not. He is not an Arab. And not only that, some they say even he's he, he was blind. I mean, look at this madness. So he is not an Arab. He don't even speak Arabic and he learned Arabic supposedly and then 
He is he's the one. Now what? Who, he, he is the one. Okay. Uh, uh, and he is the one who tell you about your prophet. A guy is coming from Bukhara, from the end of the world, from Iran, all the way there. He is the one who will tell us what Muhammad said in Mecca. And he is not an Arab. He never met an Arab. He never met any of those who they are companion for Muhammad. He went, he traveled to, to Iraq, he traveled to Sham, he traveled to Mecca, whatever you want to say after that. But yet we don't you have don't his book. To uh, speak, yeah? you, you don't have his book. So how you claim that you have the Hadith? Do you have his book? You don't have his book. You admitted that. So we don't have his book. Yet you Muslims, you, pr you, you printed, guys, they printed books. They say this is the book of Al-Bukhari, but nobody have the book of Al-Bukhari. Nobody. Zero. They, they printed books. They call it the book of, of Sahih Muslim, but nobody have Sahih Muslim. Nobody. It's a madness. They, they, they printed a book. They call it the Quran of Uthman, but nobody have the Quran of Uthman. They, it's not exist. There's nothing is called Mus'haf or Uthman. We cannot find this book. Where is this book? It's not it can't be found. So everybody made a book and he claimed that this is a book of this guy. And then people, they take it and they you reprint it. Print, print. How you can be sure that this is the, the book of Al-Bukhari, my friend? But trust me, friend, this, this study is very single. What every single? How you can be sure? How you can be sure? You don't have the book. How you can be sure that this is exactly what Al Bukhari he said if you don't have the book? Because generation of generation of Bukhari, my friend. Because I will show you. Something. Okay, my friend. Let us go back to zero. Let us go back to zero. Let us let us go. To, let us go to back to zero. You, so where is where where? Okay, can you tell me who is Israel? Can you tell me? Okay, hold on. Can you tell me? Can you tell me who is Israel from Sahih al Bukhari? Let's discuss. My friend, yes, our topic yes, is about Israel. Friend, I know, I know who is Israel. Or of no, that never changed my religion, my friend. He will not give me. My friend, my my, my friend, I listen, know, listen, that listen. Is listen. Who is who is Israel? Israel. You said you me. said we learn about Islam from Al Bukhari. No problem. Who is Israel from Al Bukhari? My friend, you, you who, say, uh, my friend, uh, no, 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 no. stop a friend in me, stop a friend in me, I friend you. I want an answer. You said, okay, you see, I'm, 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 I'm going with you. Al Bukhari is not a solid of anything, but however, you said Al Bukhari, you said the Hadith. Okay, show me from the Hadith. I want to learn who is Israel. A guy in the Quran is mentioned. Who is Israel? We don't need to know it, my friend. What do you mean? Tell me, tell me who is this guy? Are you telling me even your prophet never said? Are you no, saying to me? We don't are you saying to, to me? Know it, my friend. Are you saying to me even Israel is not mentioned by your prophet? Who is he? My friend. Who is Israel? Talk about this, my friend. My friend our prophet, he he teach his life, which is important for Muslims. Need to go to hell or to go to heaven, friend. It's not talking about a who is who are, he is not to of his no, friend. he's talking about him. He's, he's saying that this guy is a prophet, he forbid things from himself, he was a decent person, worship Allah, and then the Jews are called the children of Israel, not the children of Abraham, which means he is more important than Abraham. So, who is Israel? Now watch, watch. So let's let us let us make it simple. Let us let us make it simple, guys. Let us make it simple. No, they cannot find even the answer from their prophet. They cannot find the answer from the Quran. They cannot find the answer from the Hadith. They cannot find the answer anywhere. And not only that, if we go to Islamic website, we will find that the Muslims themselves they have no answer. And actually, so who is Israel? I want to know who is Israel. We don't. So you don't know what do you, mean you don't care if you don't if you don't care you obviously this is not about we don't care this is about we don't know you are not we don't being, care. We don't no know. you don't care you no, do no, care no. you do care because your prophet name mentioned four time in the Quran this guy name mentioned 32 time in the Quran so if he is not important why his name is mentioned 32 time now what that means, that means he's important. 
that's mean he is important who is he we need to know so what kind of a book is teaching I, us nothing I, I will tell you something will uh, tell, tell you me something. something tell me something who is who is Israel tell me something who is Israel in the Quran, in the, Quran hmm. the most important thing is the message and the the, uh, there is the no message in the Quran. The there is no, no there is no message in the Quran. Quran. There is no message in the Quran. The Quran says, "Put your voice down because the most aggressive voice for Allah is the voice of a donkey." Is that a message of God? Is that a wisdom of God? What? So what do you mean, voice of a donkey? What what you, what, what, what the voice what what a, what a voice of a human being have to do with the voice of a donkey? That is a wisdom of God. Huh? What? What say again? The Quran is more and many, many minutes, and you choose one of them, and you are telling me. I can, this, I can the understand. Only yeah, the, the, the Quran. Quran is a stupid book. The Quran oh, says that the Quran is speaking about a, a flying carpet. Uh, you know, uh, Suleiman is speaking to the ants. The ants, they, they he, he heard their speech. I mean, so so Allah have time. Allah have okay. Listen, Allah Allah have time to tell us about an ant speaking to the ants, but he don't have time to tell us who is Israel. The name he mentioned his name thirty two time. Okay, okay. Are you telling me that you who are you to tell the God which and which thing that he will speak? My friend, I am not telling your God. Your God told me in your Quran that he mentioned the name thirty two time. He mentioned the name of Muhammad four times. That's mean this name is very important. Then we need to know. We need to know. Yeah. Otherwise, why he kept me? Why he kept mentioning his name? His name is mentioned in thirty-two time in the Quran. Why it is mentioned thirty-two time? And who is this guy? You don't know. Who is Isa? Who, who is Isa? Who is Isa? Who, who, who is who is Isa? Muhammad, Muhammad. Listen, listen. Who who is Isa? Who is who is Isa? Who is Isa? The prophet, my friend. Who is Isa? Who, 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 who? I'm not asking you. I'm not asking you for a prophet or not. I'm saying who is Isa? The guy, his name is Isa in the Quran. Who is Isa? Son of Maryam, thank you very much. So Isa, son of Maryam, Israel, son of who? We don't care, we don't know, and we don't care, my friend. Why Allah, he said that Isa is the son of Maryam, but he did not say Israel, the son of who? Why he did not say Muhammad, the son okay. of who? Why, why we need to know, why we need to know that who is Abraham? Abraham in the Quran is the son of Azar. Okay. It's so funny, my friend. How come Abraham? Are you we, that Allah, why Allah, Allah saying that the name of the father of Abraham is Azar? Is that his real name? Are you saying Allah? I'm asking you. Must, I'm asking you. Is it, is, it, is it true? Is it true? Is it true that the father of Abraham, his name is a, is Azar? His name and his father, Muhammad. And his mother and his who is who is Azar? Who, who is Azar? Who is Azar? Is it true that Abraham, his father, his name is Azar? As a chapter six, verse number seventy-four, it says, "وَإِذَا قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ لِأَبِيهِ آذَرَ وَإِذَا قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ لِأَبِيهِ آذَرَ Who is Azara? Some scholars say his father. Some scholars he says is the name of his father. Okay, guys, did you hear it? Some scholars they say this is the name of his father. Some scholars they say this is not the name of his father. So what kind of Quran we cannot even understand what is written there? So when Allah He said to us the okay, word okay, Azar, when Allah He said to us the word Azar, is He all knowledgeable? Listen, listen. Do your God okay, Allah knows? Okay, okay. Let's say, let's say, my friend, my friend. Uh. Let's say that you know His His Father His name. What's the benefit that will you will take? The benefit is why Allah He mentioned the name wrong. What which which name is wrong? Well, Abraham, his father, is not Azar. Who is Azar? Which is the name? His, his name of his you father. prove it to me. Here we go. Tell me. Allah, he mentioned the name is of Azar. He said, Allah, he, Abraham, he said to his father, Azar, based on the Arabic language, it sounds like this guy, his father's name is Azar. You tell me where Muhammad gets from. Who is Azar? 
and you just said to me that some scholars yeah. they say you just said that everybody heard you some scholars they say this is the name of no, his father no, some no. scholars they say no it's not the name of his father so why even you muslims are confused about what azar mean why it's not a biblical view it's because allah himself say not all the verses of the quran are are, are, are very clear so what very clear? The people what very clear? Who have disease my friend, heart, he goes, you just say it. You, you just say it. Like you, my friend, you have uh, this disease. Muhammad, you, Muhammad. you just say so it. You, you just that. say you know, it. Hold on, hold on. Are not clear. You, you, want you to are the one who said it. Muhammad, you are the one who said it. Hold on, hold on. Muhammad, you are the one who said it. You are the one who said you do not know what this is mean. So what kind of Quran is Quran? So Allah, he said to you the word Azar for what purpose? If nobody know of you, what Azar mean? You, you are not sure if this is the name of the father of Abraham. You are not sure if this is the word means something else. So why Allah, he used that word? What Azar mean now? How I will know it's a word written in the Quran. How in the word I will know what Azar mean? Okay, I will, I will tell you something. Tell me something. What is it? What what is the purpose of religion? Change the topic the now. Prophet. Here we go. The, the, according to understanding of Islam, the purpose of Islam is to make you confused. And the reason in, and the proof is in front of you. Why Allah says to me, okay. Ab no, Abraham, I, I he said say, to his I, father Azar, we do not know what Azar mean. Is it Azar a name? Is it the father name? Is it different word? It's a word means something. And you are saying to me the purpose of religion is the purpose of religion in Islam is to make you stupid fool. He didn't change my friend. The purpose of the religion of Islam is to make you stupid and fool and ignorant and confused. And the proof here we go. I asked you a very simple question. The verse in the front of me, Abraham said to his father Azar, What Azar mean? Who is Azar? You do not know. Is Azar the name of his father? You said some scholars say yes, some scholars they say no. So, which means even the scholars of Islam they are confused what kind of book cannot even make something simple like that clear what is that okay let's what is the point of saying as are then why allah why allah he said why why, why allah <laughs> listen listen why allah he used the word as if it is not clear what the point how you must it's not about the it is clear for God. So why he mentioned it then? What is the for us or no? What is the benefit of it? Allah, he say things for a benefit. No benefit, my friend. He just kill you. You see, you see, you miss the point in the story of Adam of of mm -hmm. Abraham and his father. Mm -hmm. The the benefit of this story uh -huh. is what Allah tell us about this story. When and when Abraham tell his father to believe and he refused and and the, the whole story. This is the mean the message. Uh, uh, behind so and not his name if Allah changed his name or he, he didn't, he didn't change, he didn't miss it what what uh, what this, there's no benefit of this story your 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 prophet claimed that Suleiman he used to worship the stars and the moons and the sun and he called him Akbar Abraham according to Islam is a pagan person and then he said to his father Azar are you going to worship the idols when he himself worship idols? What's wrong with this religion? Isn't it the Quran says that Abraham in chapter 6 verse number 78 when he saw the sun coming he said rise, yeah. rising in splendor he said oh this is my lord this is Akbar this is Akbar Abraham 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 he called the sun Akbar you Muslim you say Allahu Akbar Abraham he worshiped the sun and he called it Akbar. Which one is Akbar? What what he said after that? You didn't complete the verse, my friend. This is your problem. You tell me what is, what is that? Okay, friend. tell me, tell me what is the logic of this verse? He said when he what? saw the sunset, when he saw the sunset, he said, I don't like the one who said, correct? Yes. Well, this what is, he said uh, at the end of this story. This, this is a stupid story because this is me and Abraham, he never saw the sun no, before. Stupid for my you, friend, my friend, my guys, guys, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. You pick Abra it, choose it. This hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let, let us love, guys. Let us yeah. call me, call me after a minute. Call me after a minute, Muhammad. Just wait. I want to give my ears a break, a break from your sound. It's muffling, guys. Just to show you how stupid this religion is. According to the story, Abraham, when he saw the sun rising in splendor, he said, This is Akbar. 
this is this is my this is my God. This is Akbar. You see here to translate the word Akbar as a greatest. This is false. He didn't say greatest. Akbar is not a greatest. Akbar mean bigger. But here that's mean that Abraham he never saw the sun before. <laughs> Correct. Now Abraham is a man. Abraham. Then he saw the sun rising. He said, "This is my God. This is Akbar." Okay. Then when the sun set, he said, Oh, my people, I am indeed free from the guilt of giving you, you know, the, because the sun set, he don't like the sunset. He don't like it, but this is mean he, ever, he never saw the sun before. This is the only time he noticed the sunset. Why? In the first 50 years of his life, according to Islam, Abraham became a prophet in, in late age, not in the young age. So all his life, Abraham did not notice that the sun set. So he worshipped the sun in the morning, afternoon. He noted that the sun set. He decided to leave this religion. That is a stupid. Before it, Abraham, he worshipped the moon. When he saw the moon rising in splendor, he said, this is my God. This is Akbar. But when the moon set, he said, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I you know I'm not going to worship something said. I hope Allah will guide, will guide me. Before that, when the night covered him over, he saw the star. He said, "This is my God." But when he said, he said, "I love not those who said." <laughs> this is stupid. This guy obviously looked like he never saw morning time. He lived in a country where it's. All his life was night until one day he reached a place it was morning how he did not notice when he worshiped the stars that the stars don't stay there and what do you mean the set the stars said the stars doesn't set who said that this is a stupid statement and the one he's talking here by the way is Allah the one is reporting the story is Allah so here the story of the conversion of Abraham to Islam is the most stupid conversion story. Abraham first he worships stars. He's a star worshiper. He start worshiping star in the morning. Oh, sorry, at night. In the morning he noticed the stars they are gone. So he said, "I don't like those who said." Then he saw the moon second night. He liked the moon. The moon is uh, zigzag. So he said, when he saw the moon rising in splendor, he said, this is my uh, God, this is Akbar. <laughs> this is Akbar, my friend. So he decided to worship the moon. Okay. And then the moon said, uh, Abraham, he don't like the one who said, so he left the religion of the moon. Then the sun rising, he saw the sun rising. You see, like in step by step, the moon, the, the stars, and then the sun. When he saw the sun rising in splendor, he said, this is my Lord, this is Akbar. <laughs> yes, Muhammad, what do you want to say to us? Sorry. So what do you want to say? Go ahead. Are you, are you saying Ibrahim, he worshipped his, in all his life, he worshipped the moon as well, you, you tell me, okay, you tell me, you tell me, you tell me, based on the verse in the front of us, Abraham, he became a believer in the stars in which age? I, I, I will tell you something. When tell me this, something. When this story is, when Allah came with this story, he tells us that, uh, that Abraham never know who is Allah. How so, Abraham, he know who is Allah? He, How Abraham, he know who is Allah, but he is worshipping? Worshipping the stars, worshipping the moon, worshipping the sun, and calling them Akbar. So now we have two Akbar. We have Allah Akbar, and we have the sun Akbar. Which one is the is better? Which one is Akbar? My friend, before this, before this, Abraham never who is Allah, the true Allah. Ah, so okay, but what what does have to do with our topic? We are saying here the story is stupid because. It says that when he saw no, when he no, saw no, the, no, the no, stars, no. listen, when he saw the stars set, he said, I don't like those who said this is mean how many times Abraham he saw the stars, he did not notice that they don't stay. What does that mean? No, my friend, this, he tells you that that all all he used his brain to discover Allah. And the first time he he he, 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 
This is not what I'm talking about. Muhammad, listen. The logic of him not to believe in the stars is what? Because he noticed the stars disappear. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And, and did he did he see did Abraham it, see it, Allah it, anyway? It, it, did it did Abraham true. how the guy who don't like those who don't disappear don't believe in it because it disappeared when Abraham he never saw Allah anyway. He refused yes, before Allah kills him. You are prof you are prof where where he, where he told him what he told him what he told him tell me show me where he told him where he told him read the verses with me. He first he worshipped the, 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 the stars and then because the stars said he said I don't like those who said then he worshiped the moon yes, and then yes. the moon said he don't like the one who said and then he worshiped the Sun and he don't like the was the one who, who said and then he said for me I have set my face firmly truly toward him who created the heaven and the earth and suddenly he speak about Allah so why he ah, was worried so how he you was see, you who, see the conclusion where, where he got you the name of Allah the, from the, where he got the name of Allah from uh, you see, Allah in Arabic is, is good any anything any good it's not the true good any good you can tell him Allah ah, this is new for me can you give me a proof of that it's, but what in the Bible the Christian Arabs this what is this is a, a, no 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 Allah is not Allah. my God this is a translation this is false translation this is a translation you can it's take general, no. my friend we don't worship Allah Allah is not our God this is a stupid name it's a false God it's a pagan God listen Allah, if it is, an, in, is Allah? In, 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 are you saying Allah is not? An, are you saying Allah is a word mean God? Are you saying? Are you saying Allah is a word mean God is not a name? Yes or no? What? Are you saying that the word Allah is not a name of your God? It's just a word mean God. Allah in in Arabic, he, he, uh, the Arab in God, he tells him Allah. Yeah, is that a name or it's a word mean God? The two, my friend. He no. can mean the two. No, you, the you, name don't tell the, me. You as a Muslim, you as a Muslim, do you consider the word Allah a name for your God or it's a word mean God? The two, my friend. The two. No, my he friend. No, my two. friend. I challenge you to show me a reference for that. It's a challenge between me and you right now. It's a normal thing. It's... My friend, show me, don't waste show, my time. Don't waste my time. I challenge you to show me one scholar agree that Allah is not a name of the God of Islam. It is not even a unique name, not only a name. It's a unique name for the God of Islam. It's not a word mean God. When you say Allah, you mean God for sure. For this is for this is the name of the God of Muslims. This is a name. This is not a word mean God. Don't play games. Otherwise, I challenge you right now. Muhammad, Muhammad, don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. Okay, show me, show me. Right now, show me one scholar agree with you that Allah is not a word as a name. Show me one scholar saying that. The proof, the proof in the same verse that you read. No, the proof Why is in the Shahada. The, 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 the proof in the, the Shahada. The proof in the Shahada. You say there's no God but Allah. If the word Allah means God, you should say there's no Allah but Allah. Why you didn't say no Allah but Allah? In the same verse. Why you don't say why you don't say in the Shahada there's no Allah but Allah if Allah is a word mean God here we go we replace the word God take the word God off let us say there's no Allah but Allah that will be the most funny Shahada nobody agree with you correct and you know that so why you are fooling yourself and fooling others Allah is a unique name of the God of Islam which is the moon God for the Arab before Islam and here Surim as Abraham he Allah is used God and Allah when he wants his friend my friend, I don't like to, to to waste my time. Can you show me a reference for what you say that Allah is a word mean God? It's not a name. The proof is in this, this is my friend. No. Why? The proof in the front of me. Why? The Abraham proof in front of me. The proof in front of me that Abraham, he was a pagan guy before and after because he's saying here, I shall not give a partner with Allah, which means when he worshipped the stars, he was worshipping the beside of Allah. When he was worshipping the moon, he was worshipping them beside of Allah. When he worshipped the sun, he was worshipping beside After of Allah. He a Muslim, and, and, he then, a and then he said, I shall not it take partners Allah. of Allah. That's mean Abraham, he know the name of Allah from the beginning. So why he was taking and partners? Are you, this, uh, you see, is, when is, he is say, when he say, listen, listen, when he say, I shall not take partners with Allah, that's mean he was worshipping Allah from the beginning. So why he took partners with Allah? 
He knew Allah already. Because he didn't know. He didn't know before. How he know? Where Allah spoke to him? Show me. How he know? Here we go. The verse in the front of you. Did that Allah came to Abraham? In, in, in this story, it is the beginning, but in other stories, Allah. Show me Allah Where, what surah. Him, show me what surah. What what surah? Show me what surah. What surah? Allah show him where. In this debate, my friend, when he want to kill, he tell Allah, show, show me how you create. How Muhammad, you Muhammad, and, and you Islam, Islam, go. my friend, is, Islam is the most stupid, funny religion. You cannot even stand a question you for see, a, see, for a simple topic, verse. You, you are see. the one changing the topic. Islam, I'm asking you a question. Islam, Islam, how Islam, how how Abraham he learned Islam, about Islam, how Islam, Abraham Islam, learned about Islam, Allah? Can you tell me? You cannot tell me. Who is Azar? You do not know. Who is Abraham? Okay, who's Abraham? Who is Abraham? My friend, he's a prophet. Atin Asi is a prophet. Wait, how? Who is Abraham? I'm not asking you if he's a prophet or not. I'm asking you who is who is who is Abraham. You do not know how Abraham learned about Allah. You do not know why Abraham worshiping the stars and the idols. He do not know what is the story is about. You do not. Where where Abraham? Okay, listen, listen. Where where Abraham from? Where is Abraham from? This guy Abraham. He's coming from where? This guy Abraham is coming from where? Shouldn't I know who is Abraham? I didn't uh, read the history of Abraham. My friend, the first time, but we know, the first we know, time, the first the time, the first time your God he mentioned the name of Abraham, it was in chapter 2, verse number 124. And it doesn't say anything, it's a stupid. He said, I'm going to make you Imam. Where is that? What does that mean? How, how, how Abraham he learned about God, nowhere it says. How he became a Muslim, nowhere it says. How he taught him, they know where it says. This is a stupid story claiming that Abraham was a person who is a pagan, worshipping stars and suns and moons and calling them Akbar. And yet he called Allah Akbar too. And he was taking partners with Allah, which means he was worshipping Allah from the beginning. So Allah is a, must be a pagan God because in this stage, Abraham was a pagan man, worshipping pagans, gods, worshipping idols, Worshipping stars, worshipping suns, beside Allah, for they are pagans. So who is Allah? Allah is a you pagan see, you god. See in the in, in the end of the story that you read, hmm. Ibrahim says, in hmm. he, he took away from the the sun and the moon. He didn't consider, but at the first he thinks that this is the god. Okay, but how how Allah guide him? Here we go. Okay, and this is the question. Okay, this is the question. How Allah? Is the where is the story? The where is the story? Listen, you see, you just say that Allah guide him. Where is the story of Allah guiding him? What happened to the story? The goat ate it. Where is the? Did Allah send him a prophet? Did Allah send him a messenger? Did Allah send him an angel? Did Allah send him to breathe? Did, did did Allah send Jibreel to Abraham to squeeze him the same as Muhammad? How Allah he spoke to Abraham? How he communicate with him? What he told him? How come we have a story that Muhammad he was in the cave, an angel came to him, he squeezed him three times, he says to him, "Read." What happened to Abraham? What is the story? My friend, are you telling me that every story we must know a very, a very detailed? Who is more He's important? Who is more important, the father of the prophets or a prophet? This is the father of the prophets. Why we do not need to know the story of him? How we became a Muslim? Otherwise, 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 other, if it is not important, why are you God talking about him? You see, you see, guys. Listen, listen, uh, 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 Muhammad. I have, I have a headache. Just call me tomorrow, guys. Listen carefully. Each time you ask them about anything, it, they say it's not important. Do you notice? Who is Israel? It's not important. Who is Abraham? It's not important. Who is Muhammad? It's not important. How Abraham, he worshipped the star, is not important. How he worshipped the sun, is not important. How he worshipped uh, the, the sun, he called Akbar, is not important. How Abraham, he, he, he learned about Allah, is not important. I mean, what is religion? Is it important to know that Suleiman, he have a flying carpet? This is important. It's important to know that Suleiman, he have a woman. Shaitan was sleeping with them. Shaitan was doing the wives of, of Suleiman one by one to the point they can't sleep. Their legs is open 24 hours. This is all, this is important. But who is Israel? It's not important. Who is Isa? That's not important. Who is Omran? That's not important. 
Who is Luqman? It's not important. Who is Idris? It's not important. I mean, for what is important? Muhammad is a messenger. Who is Muhammad? It's not important. What do you mean it's not important? The, the most important name in Islam is Muhammad. Suddenly it's not important. Because this is a yellow pages book, has no information. It is just a sentence from here, a sentence from here. We put them together, we make a book. Everything is not important for a very simple reason. They have no answer. Abraham said to his father, Azar, who is Azar? Is he the father? The Muslims are not sure. Some they say yes, some they say no. Why the Muslim scholars, some of them they say no? Because they learn from the Christians that Azar means stupid, foolish, idiot. So they noticed he was not saying to him, your father, my father in name. He was saying to him, to his father, are you going to worship the idol stupid or idiot or crazy? So for centuries, the Muslims, they believe that Azar is the name of the father of Abraham. So what this book is about? Even if such a word is not clear in the Quran. Why? Because the Muslims are disconnected with the Aramaic language, which is the Quran written with. Quran was not an Arabic book, obviously. And never been an Arabic book. This is why they can't understand the Quran. Who is Israel? In order to know who is Israel, we have to go and get the book of Genesis. We have to go to the to the to the Old Testament. So this is mean Quran cannot be a book standing by itself. So where is the why the Muslims don't have the book of Genesis in their book? Why didn't have the, the Torah? How you can learn who was those names? What the word what the word Ishmael mean? Ishmael, who is Ishmael? Ishmael is a guy. Who is what his name mean? Who is Mikhail? Who is Jibreel? What Jibreel mean? They don't know. What Israel mean? They don't know. I mean, all those names written in your book, you do not know what they means. Do you know why? Because it's a, it's a theft. It is official theft. Have you ever heard of a prophet? He give you a name. He do not know what it's mean. Jibreel. Who is Jibreel? How how Jibreel is the angel of Allah, but he is the angel of ill. What is the name of Allah? If we go and ask the Muslims how many names Allah have, they say ninety nine. You ask them, is ill one of them? They say no. So how Jibreel is the name of the angel, which means Jibra ill. Isra il Mika il il is a Hebrew Aramaic word meaning God If this is a word have a meaning as a God and it should be one of the 99 names of the name of your God and the proof of that it is so important that all the good names are connected to it Even the Messiah was called Emmanuel. Ezekiel. Daniel. Ishmael. Mikael. Israfil. Israel. Those are Muslim, Muslim uh, 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 angels. All of them end with ill. None of them is end with Allah. Why? Because it's a theft. Muhammad he's stealing names from other belief and other mythology and other religion as simple as that But yet he do not know what they mean Where Muhammad he got the word Injil from Injil is not a Hebrew word. So why it is in the Quran written why the name of the book of Isa is Injil Because Muhammad is a thief He learned don't don't call me now, Muhammad. We are done for today. I have a headache. We, you know, uh, he is copying, but he do not know what they mean. Otherwise, what is Injil mean? If we ask the Muslim, what Injil mean? You don't know. You know what I mean? They don't know. Okay, Darius, call me, but please not for long, you know, because I, you know, I really I have a headache. Call me, Darius. So everything you didn't know for this is a theft. 
Who is Isa? What Isa mean? Tell me what Isa mean. Here we go. You got me a guy. His name is Isa. When somebody have a name, it should come with the meaning. What Al Masih mean? They don't know. If you go and see how the Muslim they describe the word Al Masih, you would die from laughing. Hello. What the meaning? What Al Masih? Hey, CP, mean? Hold on. Let me let me turn off this. Yes, uh, my friend. Go ahead. Volume. How you doing, CP? Um, yeah. Quick question here. Uh, doing a bit of research, and I need to get your input on the Arabic. For two passages. The first is the Quran, uh, chapter 2, verse 149. And the other passage is actually from Sahih Bukhari. Uh, the Arabic reference would be book 65, Hadith 4492. And um, what I need to know is whether those passages have the word or the phrase Al Masjid. Al Haram, yeah. or do they say mosque, or do they, do they actually say the secret mosque or the great mosque, or some other phrase or terminology? Well, you see, Al Haram is let us say the forbidden. Haram means forbidden. Hmm. So uh, the translation they will say the sacred, etc. Al Masjid is not really a mosque. It's a place where people they uh, they do they like when you bow down, where you bow down, whatever you bow down is called Al Masjid. Right. So it's so it's the prayer, it's the prayer forbidden place. Yes, let us say the forbidden place for prayer. Okay. Now, does it actually say prayer is just? No, it says uh, to, to bow down. And masjid is coming from the word sujud. Okay. So uh, the word the word sujud means to bow down. But you, this is an act of uh, to, of worship. Okay, to bow down for. But remember. The, the Arab used to bow down before Islam. You remember mm -hmm. the hadith, the, the story about the, the satanic verses where it says the prophet he bowed down and the pagans they bow down? Right. So this is a practice used to be happening there. They bow down in front of their idols, worshiping them. And this is and it's called Al-Haram before Islam too. Because Why do they call it Haram if it's referring to prayer? And no, haram, it's a forbidden place. You see, the Arab, they have something is called forbidden. They have forbidden places where no war can happen, no killing can happen. Okay. Uh, there's uh, there's forbidden, forbidden month, as an example. You know, if you go, uh, uh, like, uh, 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 the Arab, they have a tradition that there's four months uh, where there's no war, no attacks, so or people, they can get married and uh, do business, and they are safe and secure. After those a few months, they are uh, gone. Then people they uh, kill each other and rape each other. It's it's a uh, four months to do whatever you wish, you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So so because I'm looking at like um Quran X, all the different translations. Some of them say sacred mosque, and some of them say Al Masjid Al Haram. Yeah, so the, the translation they are just to give you trying to give you the meaning what it's mean. They want to okay. tell you it's mean that this is the the you know the one around the Kaaba, you know. But, but it doesn't but, say that. But it doesn't say that. No, it doesn't say anything about the about where it is. You know, it says the forbidden place of uh, uh, bowing. Okay, okay, okay. The forbidden. Okay, okay. Yeah. And and the Muslims they they just read in that it's the mosque, but no, they did that before they had mosque. So it's a, basically a designated place. Specifically for prayer, and yes, yes. You can't do any violence or yes. any illicit activity in this place. Yeah. If you go, if you go to chapter two, not the same chapter, chapter two, verse one ninety four, it says a shahrul haram. Even the moon month is haram. There's there's a month of haram that is a forbidden month. Is so where there is there is a certain rules apply, and this is exist before Islam is exist. Muhammad is just a practice. What the Arab used to practice before Islam, it's the same, you know. Okay, okay. Yeah. So when it says turn your face toward it, so it's telling the Muslims if you're not in that place, you have to turn to face it at that time. You, whenever you do pray. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh. This is you see. Uh, it doesn't matter what they do. That place, it's not a location named. It is a description of what they do there. Al-Masjid al-Haram, it doesn't say it is 
this place specifically it can be any place how we will know like now you see we are mentioning the, the topic of how we will know what the okay. wh where is that where is al masjid al haram you know it have to say next something to do to it that it should, should say al masjid al haram will be mecca it should say in mecca all right now okay in, uh, if, in different verses the quran says in chapter 5 verse number 97 something like this that allah he put the kaaba in the forbidden house okay okay uh, uh, or uh, allah he made the kaaba the forbidden house a place for worship okay and then he made the month of the, the forbidden month Okay. And uh, uh, and then he mentioned the the pagan practice as it's coming from him from him as a practice. But now, how we will know where is the Kaaba? What is the Kaaba? There was more than twenty seven Kaaba in the time of Muhammad and the Arabian Peninsula. Okay, you know? wait a minute, twenty seven Kaaba. Yeah, 20... so what they would build different Kaabas everywhere in every city yeah every stuff? every town they build the Kaaba because this is a competition. This is a business. It's like now you build a mall. The Kaaba was a mall. Is a mall. Where people they buy and they sell in the same time one of the businesses is is god business everybody put his idol people they come and they put donation you know like uh, let us say you are an artist you make an idol which is look really good better than the other idols so people they prefer this idol and they pray in front of it and they give donation and you are the one who is in control of this idol because you are the one who made it you collect the money so this oh. was a this was a business. This was a business. Not only uh, it was not only uh, uh, you know uh, uh, a place of worship. It's a it's a market. It's a bazaar. It's a mall. It is a religious place. It's everything. No separation of church. It's a okay. it's a place even where they used to hang their poetry. Like as an example, everybody knows. All the Arab they agree that the Arab they use uh, to hang their poet and and the walls of the Kaaba. What does that mean? They have a competition of poetry, and the one, the winner, they hang his poet on the wall of the Kaaba. But there's many Kaaba, not only this one. I'm not talking about all the Kaaba, not only the Kaaba of Mecca. So people they gather because this is what they do for fun. The uh, poetry is their language. Like you see, in the time of Muhammad, people they speak poetry, not talk. Okay. They, they talk poetry. This is the, this is what the Arabic language is about. So. If your poetry is better than my poetry, then you became famous. Like it's like American Idol right now, you know. Okay. Those people they have no art, <coughs> they don't draw, they don't build, they live in the sand. You know, their life is very simple. The only thing they, the only art they have, is poetry. Okay. So, okay. so in that place, okay. it's a market, it's a bazaar, it's a place you can buy, it's a place you can worship. It's a place you can go do competition for poetry. It's a place like corner speaker in England, where people they stand okay. and shout and say worship God, worship etc., do this etc. So it was everything. Okay, and and there was more than one in every town. So, well, there was one in every town. So, what about the stone then? There was only one black stone. Or did they each have a different idol? If no, they were all, different all of them. All of them. They used to bring stones from the major stone place, which is the the temple of Al Makkah. You see, we spoke before that Mecca is not really Mecca; it is Makkah. The, the 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 language of people people of Yemen, when when the letter Ka, the letter of Ka used to, to appear as Ka. Okay. So it, you notice the name Mecca, Makkah. You know. Okay. And in some languages they say Bakka. If you go in the Quran, actually, you see the Quran sometimes call, uh, call it Bakka, sometimes call it Mecca. Okay, what is Bakka? It says that the first house Allah He built or it's built for mankind is the house in Bakka. But is Bakka Mecca? The Muslim they say yes, the fact is not. Bakka is the temple of Al Makkah, which is in Yemen, the, the, the moon god temple. And from that temple, people they come and they take stones, which is a holy stones, according to them. And they build houses the same as the Kaaba. This is why, if you go, you remember, if you go right now, you can search in Google for something is called the the Yemeni corner in the Kaaba. Right. The Yemeni corner in the Kaaba. Why it's called the Yemeni corner? Muhammad he said, whoever embrace the black stone and the Yemeni corner, Allah forgive his sin. 
Now, what is the black stone? The Arab used to, uh, uh, you know, to worship stones. And the, the, you know, when they see a stone, they find a stone look weird or look nice or etc. They throw the old stone and they worship a new stone. Even so they can do wild a little bit. Yeah, uh, you know, even there's a hadith about it. Let me show it to you. Uh, and this is in Sahih al-Bukhari. Read with me carefully. It says, narrated, we used to worship stones. And when we found a better stone, then the first one, we should throw the first one and take the, the later. So this is what the Arab used to do. What they, is they, book what? they worship stones. Uh, I will post it for you in the, in the, in the, in the chat. Okay. Uh, and this is a Sahih Hadith, so they cannot say it's weak. This is Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number 4376. So even if they could not find a stone, they used to make a stone from mud and worship it. You know, they mix it with milk, etc. And, uh, you know, they milk a sheep with a very weird practice, ritual. So they, they get some sand and they mix it with the sheep milk and they make certain prayer on it and they worship the new stone. Now, the black stone was obviously a vagina. And it was in the shape of a vagina, and they worship it as the god of fertility. And in a certain time, they took it and they made it. They made it as a part of the Kaaba, became a, an official corner of the Kaaba. But yet, the Kaaba is not based only in the black stone; it's based in the in the Yemeni corner, which is the corner of Yemen. Why it's called the Yemen of cor the, the the corner of Yemen? Because the stones in that corner, some of it is coming from the temple of Makkah, which is the temple of the moon god. So, you know, the same as some Christians, they build a church in the top of a tomb, or let us say the remain of a saint, right? Those right. pagans, they bring from the Makkah, the Makkah in Yemen rocks, and that will make people believe it's a holy, because here we go, why I want to go all the way to Yemen to touch, the, to touch those stones? Those stones are here next door. You know what I mean? Okay. okay. So I bring the stones to you. <laughs> okay, okay. I bring stones from the Yemeni corner to my to my new Kaaba. Yeah, so I built a new Kaaba that are closer to me. Right. They don't have to go all the way. There. So now they don't have to go all the way to right. and California that, and, and, or Florida. And that will, they can and, come to my yeah, And that will bring business. That will bring business. It's like you know, like now, because you have to come here, and then we have market, we have jewelries, we have food, we have uh, gods, we have whatever you want. So you spend money. Right. That is the whole idea is a business. If you go and see the old pictures of the Kaaba, search for them in, in Google, you will find it's always was rounded by stores. And then now the Kaaba oh. is a major trade business place. Actually, oh, okay. the Kaaba now yeah. is one of the most successful places for businesses around it. If you own a store there, you are very successful, very rich man. Because people from around the world, they come and they have no choice but to buy from you. You are just in the front of the Kaaba. Location, location, location. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So in the time of Muhammad, you see, when Muhammad, maybe next time we talk, you know, you can ask me about yeah. it. When Muhammad, he killed the Christians and the Jews and the, whatever, the, 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 the cult of the Christian Nasara and the Jews, and he killed the Arab, and he was victorious. Mecca died because there's nobody doing business. So it was a solution for the poverty the Arab of Mecca, they are going to suffer from because now nobody is going to come to Mecca. Muhammad was praying to the direction of Jerusalem. This is why uh, Allah, he told Muhammad to switch. But the fact is not Allah. It's Omar al-Khattab, if you remember. Omar, he said, Allah agreed with me in three things. And one of them is what? Is to change the direction of the prayer from Jerusalem to the Kaaba. And you will notice that this has happened only after Muhammad was victorious and there's no more business to do. No more money. Okay. Even the Quran actually says that if you feel uh, if you feel like you are going to suffer from poverty, so we decide to make you uh, face uh, face the Kaaba. You know? Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry from being poor. We will find a solution for you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, then um, lastly, from... The Bukhari book, um, Bukhari book 65 of the 4492, does it say Masjid al Haram there? Because, or have by that time have they changed it to insert the word mosque? 
Uh, I don't know. Uh, you need to give me the hadith to see it in Arabic. Um, uh, hang on. Hang on. From <coughs> right, left. Copy it and see if I can text it to you in the. Okay, I'm texting it to you in the Skype, in right. Skype chat. Okay. Let us see. Yeah, this is, I have nothing to do with the uh, Haram. This is about Beit al-Maqdis. Beit al-Maqdis mm -hmm. is, is about Jerusalem. Hmm? Well, now, wait a minute. Now, let me let me read the English translation that I'm looking at. It says we prayed along with the prophet facing Jerusalem for 16 to 17 months. Yeah. Then Allah ordered him to turn his face toward the Qibla (parentheses in Mecca). Hmm. That's in parentheses, though. And from whencesoever you start forth (in parentheses for prayers), uh, turn your face in the direction of. It has in parentheses the sacred mosque, mosque of Mecca, but written out it says Al Masjid Al Haram. Hmm. That's what's in the English translation. Yeah, well, it depends in the in the hadith. Uh, this is like in the the one I see. It says uh, the Kaaba. It doesn't say Al Masjid Al Haram. Let us see if there's a different one. Um, Let me copy. And now Let me I see, see if I can send you the link to uh, it. The other one it says the house. It doesn't say the Masjid Al Haram. The other one it says. Okay, let's see. All right, let's see. Yes, yeah, I'm so linked to it. All right, that's better. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about Al Masjid Al Haram. It says, and then he changed his direction to the direction of the Qibla, the direction of the Kaaba. That's all. Kaaba or Qibla? Qibla, Al Qibla. That's all. That's all. It doesn't say even the word, the word Kaaba, no. That's all it says. He just ch he changed the direction to the Qibla, and yes, that's it. Nothing about mosque or mosque no, 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 or no, 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 no. It doesn't say anything about that. No. Man, that's a lot to add in to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, to tons, there, there's tons of there's tons of words there is added. It's not even there, you know. And the, you can you see the guy Muhammad. He is uh, you know he's uh, talking. You can ask him to read it for you. You know the guy that was who called us. Okay. All those things, Mecca, etc., is not there. What is there is that I heard Al, Al Bara, the guy, his name is Bara, saying that we prayed with the Prophet in the direction uh, of uh, Bayt al Maqdis, which means uh, supposedly the holy house. They call it Jerusalem and uh, Qudus. But, but it doesn't say Jerusalem, it says Bayt no, It doesn't say that. No, it doesn't say Jerusalem. But we know what it means, supposedly. But there's no confirmation, by the way, that this is really Jerusalem. It might be something else. You never know. Uh, yeah. For 16 month, all right, yeah. or or 17 month, and then after that we change our direction to Al Qibla. Qibla mean nothing, by the way. Qibla mean direction. Qibla, wow. like because Qibla, uh, you know, I say uh, uh, the Qibla of the gamblers is Las Vegas. Qibla okay. is simply. Is a uh, uh, is a seeked direction, like you know, every person you have a direction. This is his qibla. Okay, okay. So Muhammad, so Muhammad, being their their religious leader, could have named the qibla anything he wanted it to be. Yeah, he could have said Memphis is the qibla. Now, yeah. but in Seattle is the qibla. Yeah. Now, but in different hadith, okay. in different hadith, he mentioned the word the Kaaba as an example. In different okay. hadith, the word Kaaba appear. Yeah, like here in this hadith here. The word Kaaba uh, okay. appear. Beitul uh, Mark. I will pause. Send... I will pause for you the link here. Uh, this is all the search hey, appear about in the sky yeah. about about this hadith, about this hadith. All the search okay. appear. Okay. So you can read them in your own time. Yeah, do that from CP. Thank you. So, I'm sorry to call you so late every time, but no, I'm at work okay. when you start and. <laughs> I have to race. I have to race home sometime. Sometimes yeah. I just cheat and call you from work. But like now, I had to race home <laughs> to get there in time to get my question in. So, but yeah. But thank you for the answers, and um, I'll let you get off and rest your voice.
You're um, welcome, my friend. Have a good day, man. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right, guys, we have enough for today, and I hope we have a good time together. Don't forget tomorrow to be with us around 4 30. And I hope tomorrow we will have Sheikh uh, Imam Dr. Ruhi from Elizabeth University. Uh, look like we have a debate every Saturday. I hope he will show up as last week. And I hope we will have a good time together. All right. Um, don't forget to subscribe, share. And if you like to read about Islam, we have, you know, I have a list of my books in Amazon. Uh, you can go to Amazon.com or Amazon France or Amazon Germany, depend which country you are from. And you can type Christian Prince and you will see a list of my books. Now, for those who did read already my new release book, which is called Sex and Allah, uh, please don't forget to make a review about the book. And please make an honest review. Don't say it's wonderful. Don't say it's amazing. Don't say anything unless it is what it is. If you like the book, say that is a wonderful book. If you think it's a silly, it's a stupid, it's not worth it, then say it is silly, it's a stupid, it's not worth it. We want, and I want, honest review. Uh, the purpose of what we do is not to fool ourselves and not to lie to ourselves. Don't lie to yourself, just be honest. If you are convinced in what we, is, what we are saying, then you, you know, you, you, you must be a person who did his homework, he searched anything I say to you in my books, in my videos, in my speeches, anything I say to you, do research. Don't take it for granted. If you read my books, I never say something there without reference. Never. Not even one sentence. The book name, the reference, the, even the links. Soon when you have Kindle, you can click at the link and you can go to the websites of the Muslims. So everything there is coming from Islamic reference, which is accepted by Muslims. Uh, Muhammad is calling. Yes, Muhammad, what do you want to say? My so, friend. Yes, Muhammad, what? Do you, you, you want to know who is Israel? I want to ask you, who is Paul and who is John who write the Bible? You don't know his name and his father? father and no, you want no to my friend, my friend, did you read the book of Paul? Yeah. Did you did you did you read the book of Paul? Listen, listen. Okay, you you wanna you wanna you wanna bet you wanna bet. If I show you that Paul, he said, "Who is he?" If I show you if I show you Paul, he said, "Who is he? From what tribe? From what family? Who is he? Are you going to do the monkey dance for me?" Who is his father? Show me. Okay, if I show you, if I show you, if I show you, are you willing to do the monkey dance for me? You, you, you are the monkey. Did he did, did, did he meet Jesus? Are you are you yeah, willing, are you willing to take the challenge or not? Are you yes he met Jesus? Yes, yeah, the Bible yeah. says he met yeah, Jesus. Yeah. Yes, he met Jesus. The Bible says yeah, he, he met Jesus. Jesus my friend, my friend, you see, you, you see, I can get you busted you immediately show, right show. now. Abdul, Abdul, listen. If I show you not only from my books, books, if I show you not only from my books, if I show you from your books, what you will do? Show me in your book, my friend. I don't believe in my okay books. if I show you from my if I show you from my books what you will do just do you, show me do you promise me do you promise me you will prove to say course. Islam just is a stupid because Islam does not give us answers but the Bible give us answers are you going yes, to do that Islam give you the answers that he so who is okay here we go you are the one you, listen listen you are listen listen you are the one who mentioned Paul right not me okay listen if I show you Paul from the Bible and Paul from the Quran, what it you would do? Just want to, I don't want in the Quran because you you don't believe in the Quran. No problem, no problem. But if I show you from both, just to confirm what I am showing you, what you will do? Are you willing to say just to me? It, are you willing it, to say? It, are you willing to say that truly, truly Christianity give us details and Islam is books of ignorance? Are you willing to say that? Never, my friend, because Bible why never? So what the point? Why, why, why you are challenging me to show you who is Paul, if you will not believe anyway? Why, yes, why you are first, challenging the me? First, the first thing to, be, to believe in Christianity. Okay, if we go, if we go to Roman, show me, show me if we go, let me show you. Okay, hold on. If I will go to the Bible, let me open the screen. 
Paul and John, my friend. My friend, yeah. If you go to Book of John, you never read the Book of John. If you open the Book of John, you will see John speak about himself from the beginning, from the first page. You Muslims are ignorant. Here we go. You are ignorant, my this friend. Is, this is Paul. I say then, has God cast away his people? God forbid, for I also, I am an Israel. It is from the seed of Abraham, the tribe of Benjamin. Do you see it? He is from the seed of Abraham, the tribe of Benjamin. So who is he from? He is from the seed of Abraham, and he is from the tribe of Benjamin. Then we go to Philippines. The Philippines, sorry. We will find this. Yeah. You know, Paul did not say who is he. Yeah, right. Finally, my brethren, rejoice the Lord to write the same thing, etc., to you. Be aware of dogs, be aware of evil worker, be aware of like Muhammad, etc. And then he says, Thought I might also have confidence in the flesh of my other things uh, uh, that has wherefore my to trust in the flesh I more, circumcised in the eighth day. And uh, of of the stock of Israel, the tribe of Benjamin, the uh, uh, and and a Hebrew of the Hebrews, as touching the law of the Pharisees. So he is a Pharisee, and he is from the tribe of Ber the Benjamin. And then he continue. Let us go to different verse. Different. Uh, we can go to verse number six, verse number seven, because he tell him about himself more about his tribe, about who is he. Then if we go to the book of Act, Act twenty three. It says here, but when Paul perceived one part uh, where seduce, seduces in the other Pharisees, he cried out in the council, men and the brothers, I am a Pharisee, the son of the Pharisee, of hope and resurrection, and of the dead I called in a question. Should I continue more? All right, the book of Should Acts. We, uh, so hold on, 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 hold on. What is the child he born? Huh? When he born? When he is born? You want the you want the when, year? When? You want the year? Yes. He, he is born in Turkey. He is, no, no, it's he is, not. He is born. Uh, the time. The time. He is born in Turkey. Listen. Uh. Here we go. Then he came. Uh, if we go to verse number six, my friend, I want to know the time. Listen, the time listen. Yeah, born. yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, when he had gone through uh, uh, Phrygia and the region of Galatia, and were forbidden of the Holy Ghost to preach, uh, so uh, to preach in the word, uh, the word in Asia, after they were in Mysia. They said to they are they are speaking about the, the, the areas where, where you know they went, and then here it says uh let us see and after that he seen a vision immediately we endured etc. So so Paul he saw a, a vision about the Lord and the Lord he spoke to him and he told him to go and do etc. and go to etc. cities and, and the from the the the, the uh uh, then of Philippi, which is the chief of the city, or the Macedonia, etc. The whole story is in the front of you. You can read it. You can take your time. So we have all the history of Paul. You can go to the Second Corinthians, you know, chapter number one. You will when, see when he born, when? where he's. It's in the front of you, and I, and I can show it to you. Listen, listen. Do you believe in Islamic books or you believe in Christian books? In Christian books. You believe in Christian books. Why you don't believe in Islamic books no more? Yes. Why you don't believe in Islamic books no more? I... Why you don't believe in, in Islamic books in no the more? Topic I'm asking of you. Islamic book yeah. Books. Because 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 Paul in is, is for Islamic is, books because we discuss the topic of Islamic books for okay. the Christian uh, topic we discuss for the Christian well because of, we because Paul Islam. because Paul is a messenger of God in the Islamic books too in the Quran. Yes or no? 
My friend, wait, wait. My friend, yes or no? Are you telling me yes or no? Is Paul a messenger of God in your Islamic books? Yes or no? My friend. Either you say yes or you say no. Is he a messenger of God in your book? You are the one who says to me, who is Paul? I need to ask you the question. We know who is Paul. You do not know who is Paul. Why the Quran is speaking about Paul? But yet he don't mention the name. How we can find? Huh? I will show you the proof. Not only from the already I show you many proof from the Bible. Let me show you from your books. Here we go. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. It's chapter thirty-six, verse number fourteen. Speak about who? Tell me. There's a three messengers sent by Isa. Who are these three? Is it true that one of them is Paul? My friend, when he don't tell me friend don't tell me friend don't friend me no more I want an answer who is the three messengers there are they is it is it Paul is it Paul is it is it Paul is it Paul who is mentioned in this verse in the Quran who is the chapter 36 verse number 14 speak of my friend don't tell me, my friend. I want. I'm asking you. Who are who are they? Those three messengers. Who are they? Listen. You are the one who mentioned Paul. Let us let us show everybody how stupid the Muslims are. Thank you for mentioning this story. Who is who is this? Who is the three messengers here? I want to know. Is it true? Either listen, Muhammad. Muhammad, don't be a kid. Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. I'm asking you. Either you say. Hold on. Either you say. This verse is speaking about Paul, or you say no, it's not about Paul. Is it hard to say? So, chapter 36, verse number 14. Does it speak about Paul? Yes or no? I said, Don't tell me, my friend. I want an answer. Yes or no? I said, Don't tell me, my friend. Shut up. I want an answer. Say yes, say no, and then talk whatever you want. The chapter 36, verse number 14. Does it speak about Paul? Either you say yes or you say no. No, no, my friend. Let me shut you up then. Here we go. Guys, did he say no? Let us show you that the Muslims are official liars. Here we go. No, huh? You are a liar. You are a liar. Here we go. This is Tafsir Ibn Ashur. You are the one You are the one who mentioned to me Ibn Ashur before. Listen, shut up. Listen. Here we go. This is Ibn Ashur. Do you know what Ibn Ashur he said? Let me show you and you will die laughing at yourself. You Muslims have no idea. Prophet, Listen, I don't care if he's your prophet or not. If he is not your prophet, why you consider him a scholar? Why you read his books? Why he is in your library? Shut up, shut up. You see, you did say to us that you don't believe that this is Paul. Let me show you what Ibn Ashur he said. you liars. And not only Ibn, uh, Ibn Ashur, even Ibn Kathir. It says here that those three messengers they came to the city of Antakya, and then the people they kicked them out, they harassed them, they tortured them, so they run. And look what it says here. And then Paul, it was, and and then they came to Paulus and Barnabas. So there's two messengers. One of them is Paul in Arabic. We call him Paulus, and the other one is Barnaba. And then they went out of Antak, Antioch, Antioch, and then they went to a city. It's called Icon. And then they did miracles. Paul and Barnaba, they did miracles. So if I ask this guy, who is Paul? Who is Paul? He have no answer. Who is Barnaba? He don't have an answer. And then they went to a city, it's called Lystra. And then they went to a city, it's called Derba. And then the Jews, they chased them from those cities. And they asked people to discriminate them and humiliate them. And they made people are angry from them. And then they start you know, giving them hard time by stoning them and trying to kill them. And then they stone Paul, they stone Paul in the city of Lystra and they thought he is dead. This is in your book. Is that in your book or my, my book? Friend, my book is the Quran and the Hadith. My, my friend, my this is your is book. This. Okay, then if your book is the Quran, tell me who is the three messengers mentioned in chapter 36, verse number 14. Don't tell me my book. Here we go. This is your book. Tell me who are those three messengers. You are this the one. You are the one who brought. Shut up! I want an answer. Who are they? Who, who are they? Who are they? The three. What, what's wrong with you? What's What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You are the one who mentioned this. You need to solve it. Who are the those three messengers in chapter thirty-six, verse number fourteen? 
you who make it, it's you are the you one who make you need you are the Muslim. Shut up. You see, guys, you see the coward. He asked me about Paul. I answer him. I'm asking you now in chapter 36, verse number 14. Who are they? Those are three messengers. Either you say I don't know because Islam is religion for donkeys who do not who keep saying we do not know, or you tell me who are they? My friend, it's your don't tell me I, I don't friend, friend donkeys. I don't friend donkeys. I don't friend donkeys. You tell me. Otherwise, prove to me that you are a horse, not a donkey. Chapter thirty six, so verse number donkey, fourteen. See, chapter see, chapter. You no, you are the one who have no answer. I give you the answer. Chapter thirty six, verse fourteen. Who are the those three Please messengers? Show me one hadith. Say this is Paul, my friend. Show you one hadith. So are you Who saying? Are you saying you? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you saying your prophet never said who are the those three messengers? Show me where prophet. No, 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 no. Don't tell me. Show me. I'm asking you. Are you saying? That your prophet never said show that those your claim those... is this Paul in the Quran. Show me where prophet say this. You say this scholar no better than prophet who never said it. So why okay? Here we prophet. go, guys. He just said he just said he's a prophet, he never said who are they? Why is it your prophet ignorant? Is he stupid? Why he do not know who are they? No, my friend, because they are not who so who are they? Why your prophet did not say who are they? No, my friend. We... What do you mean you don't know? What's wrong with this religion? What's wrong with this religion? Three messengers are sent by Isa. You telling me who they do? We don't know. How we will know who they are? And why your scholar they say we know? Why Ibn Kathir he say we know? Let me show you Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. You know Arabic, you, so you don't play the game. This is Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. Hold on. This is Ibn Kathir. Have you have you ever heard of Have you ever heard of Ibn Kathir? Why Ibn Kathir saying this is Paul? Ibn Kathir is no prophet, my friend. So you are saying that your scholars, they are a bunch of liars. They fabricate lies. Is that is that right? No, my God. No, my friend. So why they are it saying, so why they are saying it is my Paul? Prophet, my prophet why they are saying, everyone. why they are saying it is Paul? Hey, listen, why they are saying, why they are saying it is Paul if it is not Paul? My friend, show me where Paul meets Jesus. You I showed you. I Just showed you. you know, uh, Abdul, I don't like stupid talk. I showed you, the Messiah. He appeared to them. Appeared to I him, and he spoke Paul. to him. When Jesus, when Jesus died, my friend, when? What do you mean where? So what the verses I quote for you from the Bible was for? When, when, when? It's time. It's are you time. are you are you deaf? Are you blind? I was reading for you verses about the mess about the, 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 the Messiah appearing to, to Paul and you did you say to me where what's wrong with you? Yes, my friend, it's a spirit, it's not Jesus himself. Well, uh, our God is a spirit, my friend. Our God is a spirit. Our God is a spirit. Your God is a spirit. Is your God is your God is a spirit? Is your God is a spirit? Listen, Ahmad, just to show you, just to show you one sign of ignorance in Islam. Is your God Allah is a spirit? Yes or no? You see, you change the topic. No, you are not the one change topic. You are the one who said. You are the one who said. You are the one who said is a spirit. You are the one who said is a spirit. Jesus said that he is a spirit. Yes, he is a spirit. At the same time, he said, "I will go and I will send the comfort, and he will stay with you, and I will be with you for the end of the time." So he is going to be with us as a spirit. So don't be stupid. I'm asking you: Is your God Allah is a spirit? Is your God Allah? Is your is your God Allah a spirit? Yes or no? Is your God Allah is a spirit? Yes or no? Why your God come as a human and never? Let's shut up. See, guys, this is Paul. They didn't know who are they? Those three. He's asking me who is Paul. We have tons of verses in the Bible. I can quote forever about Paul. Who is this three guys? Only in their books interpretation they say it is Paul. Well, where you where, where you learn this from? Where are you Muslim you learn this from? Where you got the name Paul from? How you know it's Paul? They say to you, we learned from the Christians. They copy from us. Paul not only is a messenger of Allah in Islam. He is one of the mighty one and he did a lot of miracles and this is what you will see in my coming book actually I'm, I'm working in this book right now as we speak 
who is Paul? Who is John? Go open the book of John. You will see John introduce himself. But you Muslims don't read. They have a big mouth. They don't read. Read. Did you have the book of John? Did you open the book of John? If you open it, you never ask the question. But you never open it. If we open the Quran, we will find the Quran. It says that this book is according to, according to who? According to Hafs, the son of Asim, but Asim is not his father. <laughs> Asim is not the son of is, is not the father of Hafs. The Quran says, call them by the father. They're, they're, call them by their fathers. Asim is not his father. Is the guy who married to his mother. Hafs ibn Sulaiman. According to to Asim. According to etc. According to etc. According to etc. Who are those guys? Hafs is a liar. The Muslim they witness for that. Asim is a scumbag. The Muslim witness for that in their books, and their hadith is rejected, not da'if rejected. Yet they take the Quran from them. And when we ask me about Paul, we say to them, "Okay, who are they? Those three? If I want to know, if I'm a Muslim now." And here you discover the dishonesty of Muslims. If I am a Muslim, I want to understand this verse in chapter 36, verse number 14. How I can understand? They will say to you, go to the hadith, go to the interpretation, the scholars. Okay, we go to the scholars. What the scholars they say? They say it's Paul. They say it's Luke. They say it's John. They say it's Barnabas. They are very confused about the names. They say it's Simon Peter. So he thought he have something. Who is Paul? You are the one who do not know who is Paul, not us. You are the one who his his books mention Paul, but you do not know who is Paul. When you Muslims you show interpretation saying Paul was a messenger of God, shouldn't you tell people who is Paul? You. Like this is scholar here who is talking about Paul, who made miracles. Who is Paul? Who is Barnabas? Or we just quote names and we throw it in the you know to, to people and people they like they live with it. Everything in this cult have no answer. Tafsir al Qurtubi. What Tafsir al Qurtubi says? We can show you tons of stories written by the Muslims about Paul. Anyway, we continue tomorrow and we will show you more and more of the stupidity of this religion. And by the way, chapter 36, verse 14, when the Muslims confirm that those three messengers are the messengers of Jesus, that confirmed that Jesus must be God, for a messenger cannot make you a messenger. Those are not messengers to deliver a message like a letter. No. This, those are not postmen; those are messengers of God. The Quran confirmed that. It says, "We then we first." This is a translation. Send to them two messengers. Who is the one saying we? Allah. So those are messengers of God. Then we go and we ask the Muslims, "Who are they? Those messengers? Two plus one." They say, "Those." And all the Muslims agree that those are the messengers of Isa. How Isa is a messenger, yet he can send messengers of God. If I am, let us say, a sergeant in the army, can I make you a sergeant like me? I cannot. If Jesus is a messenger, he don't have the rank and the authority to make someone as a messenger. God only can make messengers. God only can name messengers. How they are the messengers of Jesus. And not only that, if you read the interpretation, you will see they made the amazing miracles, all of them. Who? The messengers of Jesus. Starting from making the blind see, going healing the leper, even resurrecting people from death. Even in the story, I speak about the king. He, he, he challenged him 
to resurrect a boy who died seven days ago he told him if your God is a truthful will raise this boy who died seven days ago and the three messengers of Jesus they resurrected this boy from death so you ask me about Paul shut up and answer yourself until now you know nothing we know who is Paul we know what he's do for what he used to do for a living we know where he's born we know what his family we know what he's about we know his tribe we know his roots we know everything about him and you know nothing about him so why you quote his name why you Muslims there even to quote his name who is more important in Islam Paul or Israel obviously Israel yet they do not know who is Israel who is Abraham they don't know who is Moses they don't know they don't know because if Abraham is unknown for them how Moses will be known they know nothing who is Jibreel why Jibreel his name is Jibreel what Jibreel mean they don't know what Israel mean they don't know Mikael they don't know what Isa mean they don't know what Allah mean have you ever heard of a person he can tell you what Allah mean they don't know even Muhammad nobody knows where he is from according to Islamic books Muhammad is born four years after his father death how in the world a person he was born four years after his father death this is why until now the Muslims believe that a person it's possible for him to be born four years after his father there's a woman in I think it was in Sudan something like this they want to stone her to death for fornication she's married hmm? she's a widow actually uh, so her husband he passed away and then she delivered a boy after two years the Sharia court you know they took her to court because how she got the breath net then the lawyer he showed them according to the scars that yes is it true that a Muslim woman she can be breathnet up to seven eight ten years sometime after her husband slept with her first time why this madness why the Muslim believe in such a garbage because their prophet himself he was born four years after his father death imagine you divorce your wife four years ago she called you today she say come here and pay for the delivery of your son what I divorced you four years ago imagine you die four years ago and then your wife chased you for money to inherit your money because she have a son she's claiming that this is your son and she is delivering him four years after even some Muslim scholars they say that a woman she can be breathnet seven to ten years after that but the majority agree of the four the majority agree of the four years some they say up to ten they do not know who is Muhammad they have no idea except the stories reported in the hadith here and there and look here he says the scholars are not the prophet the scholars suddenly suddenly the Muslim they don't take the scholars they take only the prophet well the prophet he said the black dog is the devil do you accept him do you accept this is what the prophet said the prophet said that Mary is the sister of Aaron do you accept that the prophet said the sun set in the murky water the prophet said that the sun goes every day from from the from the east to the west to prostrate itself under the throne of Allah do you believe in that the prophet said if the women have orgasm first the baby will be a, a girl if the man have orgasm first the baby will be a boy here we go this is what the prophet said and then what he will do he will say I don't accept this hadith so when they want they say we want only the prophet when we show them what the prophet said they don't want the prophet no more they are very selective religion their prophet is decent always as long what he is saying is not a stupid the second you show them something stupid he said they deny it they say we don't accept it that is Islam my friend it is 
the religion of stupidity. He was defending the hadith, right? You see, I was going to leave, but hold on. Was he defending Al Bukhari for two hours? This guy? Was he? You heard him. If we go right now to Al Bukhari, or oh, Sahih Muslim, when the Prophet he asked a man, Why you married a widow woman? Why you don't marry a child? What you will say about this? He will say, This is weak. The story here. The Prophet is asking a man, Why you marry a widow? Why you don't marry a child? So you can play with her? Huh? Why you don't marry a young girl that you could sport with her and she could sport with you? He was defending Al Bukhari and Sahih Muslim for two hours. The second you show him this, he will say, This is, I don't accept it. Islam is the same as a lizard. You know those lizards who change their color? I don't know what they call them. You know, the lizard who go in the rock, if the rock is yellow, he became yellow. If the rock is dark, he became dark. If you walk in the sand, he is in the same color of the sand. This is what the Muslims are. They change their color right away. If the hadith fit with them, they like it. They say it is sahih. If they don't like it, if it's humiliating, if it is a stupid, if it's exposing their prophet, they say it is weak. Immediately. This is what your prophet said. Do you accept such a manner? A man is asking a man, why you marry a widow? You better marry a child? What is his business? A prophet of God is seducing a married man to go and marry a young girl instead of marrying a widow? What's his business? A man is happily married to a woman. What is your business to say to him, huh? to breathe the breed of the devil in his ear, say, what's wrong with you? Why you don't go and get a child, huh? Why you marry a widow? This is a prophet of God. Imagine somebody he do that to your daughter husband. Your 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 daughter husband walking in the street, and your daughter is a widow. And then a friend he come to him and says, "Hey, did you marry a widow or a virgin?" He say, "Widow." Hey man, you marry a widow, huh? Why you don't marry a young girl, young, six years old like Aisha? Dude, she will amuse you, man. They are fun. They are fun. Here we go. This is what your prophet said. What about your prophet saying that Moses, he chased the stone because the stone stole his clothes? Are you going to defend Al Bukhari after that? The stone is stealing the clothes of the Prophet, defending a Sahih Hadith, Al Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. Uh, well, we believe only in what the Prophet said. Suddenly, they believe only in what the Prophet said. Okay, this is what your prophet said. Read and love. A stone is carrying the clothes and the wallet and the cell phone of Moses. Are you going to defend Sahir Bukhari after today or you will change your mind? If he call me right now, he will say, I don't believe in this. <laughs> If he call me right now, he will say, I don't believe in this. This is very embarrassing. But this is the same book he was defending for the last hour, Sahir Bukhari. I said to him, you don't have Sahir Bukhari. No, no, we have Sahir Bukhari. They memorize it, my friend. They memorize it. Okay, here we go. They memorize it. Are you happy? No, he will say, no, I don't accept it. This is Sahih. This is when, this is how the Muslims are. They are seasonal people. When they want, this is very strong hadith. When they want, it's a very weak hadith. 
When they want, we go only by the Quran. When they want, we go only by the Hadith. When we want, we say only, show me one scholar saying that. You see, if if he do not know that the scholar, they say Paul is a messenger of God, he will challenge me. Show me one scholar say that Paul is a messenger of God. But he did not challenge me. That challenge because he knows what Islam Muslim scholars believe. So now, the scholars are not important. Uh, Osama, what his name is going to call? Okay, uh, Mr. Osama, Sami, he's a Muslim. I will give you five minutes, my friend, because I have to go, honestly. Call me. Okay. <coughs> go ahead. Answer Osama, you are saying you want to call me. We will give just five minutes to Osama. He's saying he wanna to talk to me, but he's not answering. Yeah, answer, yeah, Osama Sami. Well it says you are not online, my friend. Anyway, you can call me tomorrow. We have enough for today. Uh, anyway, guys, tomorrow we will be here around uh, four thirty. Invite your friends, please, and let us see. Yes, let us give him a chance. Hold on, maybe we can get some potato before we go. Because it says missed call from him. Maybe have a weak internet. Hmm. I guess you have a bad internet. Yeah, it's okay. Mostly he have a bad internet. No problem. No, I think he's trying to talk to me, but maybe internet is bad. You don't, you don't know where he live. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And tomorrow we will have a new topic and we will have new people calling us. And we will get Islam busted as always. Nothing will change. It doesn't matter really who speak to us. Islam is the most stupid religion based on I don't know. As you see, three hours, four hours we are talking. Not a single Muslim can tell us anything except I don't know. Who is Israel? I don't know. Who is Ishmael? I don't know. Who is Abraham? I don't know. Who was his father's name? I don't know. This is the religion of I don't know. And the best scenario, the answer you to say is not important. Who is Israel? It's not important. Really. Who is Isa? It's not important. Yes, Mr. Osama. <clears throat> Hello. Yes, Mr. Osama. How are you? Yes. Uh, yes, I was just updating my Skype. I haven't used it uh, so far, so that was out of date. No problem, That's, Osama. What do you want to uh, say to us, Osama? Go ahead. Go straight to the topic, please. What do you want to say to us? You said that a Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was uh, born. Uh, whatever you said that uh, uh, after the death of his, uh, um, his father for years. But mm. can you tell me where have you read this or from where you got this? you speak Arabic, my friend? No, I don't speak Arabic. Well, all the reference in Arabic. Okay, then give me in English. I will search on it. I don't know if you can find it in English. If you want to find it in English, you can get my book in English. You can go to Amazon.com. No, no, I can't. I, I won't read your book. Just uh, give me the reference from an Islamic, an Islamic book. Yeah, well, you know, uh, let me see if I can get you and listen to me and listen to me. Hold on, I'm not listening he, to he you. Was you. You don't tell me, you don't tell, listen, tell, listen don't tell me, me, listen to listen me, to don't me. talk to me in this tongue, listen don't to talk to me in this listen way, to don't talk to me listen this to way. Me. Abdul, listen, listen to you me. ask me listen. for reference, let me give you a reference, listen. let me give a reference, and you will see how okay. stupid your okay. prophet is. 
Didn't you ask for reference? Oi. Did you ask Hello. for reference? Did you, did you ask for Did you ask for your reference? Reference. He's a stupid. Respect. He's a stupid. A guy. A guy who Respect. said if a woman come first and yes. the baby will be a girl, he is a stupid. Don't you agree? What? A man who say if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. He is a stupid. Do you agree? I didn't get you. What do you mean you don't get me? If a man he said if a woman have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. Is he stupid or smart? A man who said that uh, if the women the have, have a, orgasm first, what is wrong listen with you? What's wrong with you? Is that is listen. that right? That a listen woman, a woman, listen, Abdul, you don't tell me, listen to me. I'm not. Abdul. You listen, you are Abdul. You are just a slave of Allah. You are no one. Now yes, I'm asking you. When, when, yeah, you are a slave. Yeah, you are this origin of a slavery. Yes. So when yes, a, when a, when, a, when a man he say when a man he say if the man have orgasm first the baby will be a boy is that a stupid or a smart? First, tell me which man said. What the prophet or a, a normal man? Sorry, sorry, what? You you are trying to say that uh, if a man. Anyone it is says that uh, the baby is going to be a girl. You're trying to say this The hadith says that your prophet say that uh, I Haven't heard This before okay, no can problem. You, sure. Can sure. you give me the reference? Sure. Okay, here we go If I show you the reference you promise me you'll read it I can't read it. I have just one no uh, phone and I'm talking to you on Skype. No problem. I can't watch your video. All right. Okay. Here you we... can share me this one. Okay, here we yeah. go. It's in the front of us. All right. Sunan and Nisa'i, and this is a Sahih Hadith as you see in the screen. The Messenger speak of Allah said, Do you speak Arabic? Speak in Arabic that why you are asking me why you asking me to read for you in Arabic if you don't speak Arabic Do you know Arabic? I can understand a little but can't speak. No, speak to me in Arabic then as long as you understand here we go I'm going to show it to you in Arabic you read for me in Arabic you said a little, you understand a little, You said you understand why you are asking me to speak to you in Arabic if you do not know Arabic Okay, uh, okay show me <laughs> okay Okay here it says, Your Prophet, Allah, 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 If a man come first, the baby will be a boy. If the women come first, the baby will be a girl. And this is a Sahih Hadith. And this is the reference in the front of you. It says Sahih. Value number one, book number one, is Hadith the, number 200. This is, the, this is the real one? This is the real one. Yes, my friend. This is the real one, not the fake one. This is the real one. It's in the front of you. This okay. is Sunnah.com. This is Sunnah.com. Okay, I believe in it. I believe in it. Okay, so you believe that a woman, because, if she have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. Because, uh -huh. because our Allah and Prophet knew better than you and I. Ah, and I do. And how, what, how he, but this is what is, but science says the opposite. First of all, let me clear one thing. My uh -huh. English is not so good, so. Ah, okay. I'm a bit confused here. You are confused always, my friend. You are a Muslim. You must be confused. So, what do you mean you believe no, in it? In what, English what, do, what do you mean you believe in it? Do you really believe if your father have sex with your mother, with my respect to your mother, the baby will be a boy just because your father have orgasm first? Is that true? Uh, is that what science they teach, or this is madness? And you believe just because Muhammad he said because you told me prophet he know better He told us we are not to argue we are no one to argue. Ah, he, he told you not to argue ah, Because if you argue you will get him you, busted you guys if you, you argue, guys if you argue, people, ah, you argue So if you are guys if you argue Francis, if you Francis, are yeah, if you say this is make sense to you them, guys if you argue That's not make sense. That doesn't make sense uh, process, uh, They will be deep dumb and blind so what you are what what 
What deaf and blind? You are the blind. Here we go. You believe in this garbage? I'm not blind. Okay. Not blind. Is your prophet telling the truth or he's lying here? That the man, if he have orgasm, the baby will resemble him. Okay, tell me. Is wine uh, means uh, I, I, I don't know what to say that in English, but uh, you people bring wine, eat pigs, uh, have uh, sex without uh, marriage and make babies without marriage. Is this... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It is, you said that it is true religion. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where, where in the Bible it says you can have sex without marriage? Can you show me? It's in the Quran. It is in the, it's in the Quran. The Quran it says you do muta. It's in the Quran it says, it's in the Quran it says that somebody can rent your sister. Listen to me, shut up, idiot, you liar. In the Quran, in chapter you twenty-four, chapter four, chapter four, verse twenty-four, it says that a woman, your sister, your mother, she can open her legs for sex if she somebody pay her. It's called muta. Is that correct or not? Am I lying? Muta is for Shias, not for Muslims. You see, guys, he just said it's for Shia, but this is in the Quran. This is not for the Shia. This is not for the Sunni. This is Quran. Chapter four, verse twenty-four is for the Shia. Okay, listen to me one. Listen, uh, listen to me, 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 listen to me. Is it chapter four, verse twenty-four is for the Shia or for the Muslims? All of them. Listen to, listen me. to me, listen to me, listen to me. Is the verse is the Quran chapter four, verse twenty-four for the Shia only or for all Muslims? Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Repeat. Shia, is the chapter four, Shia verse number twenty-four for the Shia up. alone or for the Muslims? All of them. Up. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Is it chapter okay, four, verse number you, twenty-four for the Shia you, alone? To you, listen to me, listen to I me, know, listen to I me. Know, you I idiot, what's you wrong with you? You, you idiot. What kind of a what? prophet? What kind of a prophet he allowed your sister to rent her vagina for whoever who pay? Is that God? I I never read it. What do you mean never read it? It's in front of you. No, okay, read it. Okay, it. read it. Here we go. And this is Tafsir Al Jalalain. Al Jalalain is not Shia, he's a Muslim Sunni. Is a Jalalain Shia? Is a Jalalain Shia? Is a Jalalain Shia? Is a Jalalain Shia? Read that verse. I did read the verse. It says, "Well, Muhsanat min al Nisa illa ma malakat aiman kum kat etc." فما استمتعتم به من هنّ من هنّ فأتوا هنّ أجورهن. Whatever you you enjoy of it, which means the vagina, pay them their wages. This is the muta. Now, what do you say? The muta. Yeah. Muta. So, what do you say? So, what do you say? Is that Shia? I know. I know. Is that, know what is that Shia? Say, is that Shia? Is that Shia? Is that Jalalain no, Shia? No. Is Ibn Kathir I, Shia? I, is Ibn Abbas Shia? Huh? Brother, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen uh, to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me, my yeah, friend. Listen to me. I'm listening. I'm listening, my friend. I'm listening in the front of me. So why you are accusing the Christian that they are the one who have sex without marriage when Islam is the one who made it legal? You are the one who can yeah. rent a woman. You are the one who can rent a woman. Do you want me to show you what the Muslim they say, the Muslim Sunni about renting women? Sunni, not Shia. Do you want to see? Do you want to read with your own my eyes? English, my English is not good. I don't the, care for I your English. Answer. English is my English is not my first language too. Stop speaking about English. If you don't speak English, why you call me? Now you, suddenly your English is not good. You call me. Yes. You know I'm going can't to talk. You, you, you know I'm going to talk. You good. know I'm going to talk in English. So why you call me if your English is not good? Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen carefully. Here it says listen in the front of you. To, this is alislam.org. Hey everybody, watch with me. This is alislam.org. What is that? Alislam.org. What alislam.org says? It says that you can rent a woman, rented women. The rule of rented women. Read with me carefully. In some work, a special term is applied to women who participate the muta, musta uh, ajara, or rented women. The muta is considered as a kind of rental because, in general, a man man's basic aim of this kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment of a woman, and in return of his enjoyment, the women receive certain amount of money. In defining the rental, do you see it? So this is Musta'jara. You Muslims, your God, the Holy God, He allow you to rent your cousin, and your cousin can rent your sister. 
and he will pay her in return for sex and this is called the muta marriage and this is not for the Shia this is not for the Sunni this is for all the Muslims and this is in the Quran and the website I'm reading from right now is not a Shia website it's a Muslim website and here it says so those of, who, of them whom you enjoy give them their appointed wages the muta is in the Quran not for the Shia alone not for the Sunni the Shia is more truthful than you Muslim Sunni they still practice no. until now so now answer what kind of religion allow you to rent your sister in Islam be honest uh, with me did you ever did you ever did you ever rent a Muslim woman before <clears throat> I'm just 21 year old, just a kid. In front so what? Of what does that mean? You are 21 years old. What does that mean? Is that mean you are? Is that mean you are stupid? What does that mean? 21 years is old. Is a man. So what? You are a man. 21 me, years old. Tell me one thing, brother. No, I cannot tell you I something. I cannot I'm, tell you something. I'm kid. I want. Just front of, I want you to. I want you to answer me. What do you think about? Why don't you I showed me, you. I showed you. Thing. I showed just you the reference. I showed you the reference in the Quran that you can rent a Muslim sister. What do you say about that? Do you agree with it? Tell me one thing. I cannot tell you one Are thing. You I can tell you only twice, two things at a time because it come like in pair. The Quran says we okay. created everything okay, in pair. Listen, I listen, know, listen. Say, but the Quran says. When are you going to I cannot tell you one thing. The Quran, I cannot when tell you one. Oh, listen like, to me. I cannot tell you one thing at the time because Allah He said He created everything in pairs. What is the pair of I the mule? I will answer you. I will answer what, you. What is the what is the pair of the mule? Do you know what is the pair of the mule? Allah created everything in pair. What is the pair of the mule? What, what is the pair of the mule? Allah created everything male and female. Is that right? Everything. Said, what is the pair of the mule? As long as Allah created everything in pairs. I will answer answer you tomorrow. Why tomorrow? Uh, next why, time why, why, why tomorrow? Uh, why, to, why tomorrow, my friend? Why tomorrow? Don't you want to tell me now? Because I will why? 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 I will search on it. When we call each other, we create two pairs. From everything, we created two pairs, male and female. What is the, who is the wife of Mr. Mule? Did Allah create male mule and female mule? I said I will answer you tomorrow. Why not now? What happened? Your mom is coming. What's what's happening? Just answer me. This is a simple question. Allah created from everything two two pairs, male and female. What is the pair of the mule? I am going to uh -huh. uh, un answer you tomorrow. Tomorrow, I will search on it. Ah, I, I don't okay. know what to say now. Why you don't know? Why? What happened? Why? You have read what happened? All the things. What? What, have, what happened? Uh, what happened? What happened? Knowledge. My friend, I don't have. You don't have knowledge? knowledge. What is your knowledge? Know. Where is your knowledge? Where is your knowledge? What happened to it? Because I'm not a scholar. You are a scholar, a but a second ago you told me you believe that the prophet when he said if you have orgasm first the baby will be a boy You believe this is true Whatever he said Allah said I believe so whatever he said that you will you know, believe in it doesn't matter even if it's yes. stupid oh, Okay, 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 did, okay did, 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 did you hear the prophet? Did, did you hear the uh, okay if I say to you if I if I say to you if I say to you if if I say to, uh, listen 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 if the prophet What's wrong with you? You I'll have do the same. You, you keep talking to yourself. You say yeah, nothing. What is, what is this, man? Kid, what is this? kid, go. What is this? Don't call me again. I thought you are a man, but you're trying to be a female kid, not even a kid. He created everything in pair, male and female, and yet the Quran says that Allah is the one who created the mule. Allah created the mule. Is the mule male and female? The one who was calling me, obviously, he was one of those mules created by Allah. Yes, I believe it. Whatever Prophet said, I believe it. Yes, I believe it. It's true. What do you mean? I believe it. I believe it. And then I believe it. Yes, I believe it. And you Christian, you drink wine and you are sex. The Muslims don't have sex. Number one people in the world who search for sex with donkeys are Muslims. Is that true? You mean the Christian you have text? 
A woman in Saudi Arabia is cannot even walk alone in the street. Otherwise, she is endangered. Why is that? Because the Muslims are very nice, loving people. And women is so secure to the point she need guardian. She would be kidnapped in a second. You see the Muslims? We don't do a drug nation. You go to Afghanistan, nobody is awake. Everybody is high. Taliban, Taliban, the leader of Taliban, they have a Bedza Bachi boy who dance for them. Taliban. They bring a boy, they dress him as a girl, and they sleep with him after the party. This is the Taliban. Do you know what Taliban? The student of Islam. The word Taliban mean the student of student of Islam. If you don't believe me, go. There's actually a documentary by the BBC about them. They bring literally a boy. He dressed as a girl. He put a bra. He wear a skirt. He put makeup. He danced between the, the mullahs and those are mujahideen, the real Muslims. Allahu Akbar. The one who practices Sharia Allah. And then after they do that, they have sex with the boys. They speak so much of morality, but they don't have any of it. They bring them as refugee to Europe and go and see what they do to Europe. They just yesterday they arrested a guy, an Iraqi Muslim, who killed a stupid. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. You bring them to your countries and then look what they do to you. That's why I have to say stupid. He killed a, a, a child and, and raped her and then he run. What's wrong with those people? I don't blame them for being criminals. Islam is a reason of crimes. When, when, you, when you convert to Islam, you lose your morality. You lose your sense, your common sense. You look at everything as a sexual object. They don't see a human in front of them. They see women wearing skirt. They see asses. They see breasts. They don't see you as a woman. This is their mentality. They think because they don't drink wine, but yet they drink camel urine. They are better than you. They think they don't drink camel. They don't drink wine and they didn't eat pork, so they are clean. Go and see what kind of filthy life they have. Everything for them is upside down because Islam is a fascist religion made them believe that they are the highest They are the good ones. Everyone else is filthy disgusting. Go and see your country Go and see the filth of your country That's why you cross the ocean dying to come to Europe and the stupid European they welcome you because they lost their mind Because they are doomed because they are stupid Because they became donkeys They look at you down and they think they are the best. Go and see who they are. Go and live between them. In Yemen, children at the age of five, they force them to wear the chastity belt. Do you believe it? At the age of five. Some places at the age of two. They don't wear diaper. They put a chastity belt, which means the child go in the street Wearing a chastity belt. If you do not know what the chastity belt, go and search for it. It's made from steel. You put it around the west, it have a lock and keys to be sure that your child will not be raped. And then they speak too much about morality. Nobody speak about morality as much as the Muslims. In Egypt, the journalist from the CNN was raped in the front of the camera. <laughs> Everybody is a believer. If I show you the videos in YouTube, what they do, you will not believe it. 
if a Christian want to build a church, they burn the church. They get so angry. Allahu Akbar, Kuffar, Allahu Akbar. Billy dancing is the land of Egypt. I never saw a Muslim striking in the street against Billy dancing. We saw them burning churches. We saw them killing Christians. We saw them, we saw them kidnapping Christians, beheading Christians. For what? For preaching about God. Billy dancing is number one business in Egypt. Drugs is in every corner. Music in every window. Actually, if a woman, she do not know how to do belly dancing, nobody marry her. Go check. Belly dancing is like number one in your resume. Because you need to dance to the new husband. And then they give you speeches about morality. You drink wine, you drink piss, you drink camera urine, you idiot. What kind of religion forbid you from drinking wine and force you to drink urine? And by the way, the Quran says that wine is from the good of Allah. <laughs> This is your God talking, not me. Isn't it? Your God. He is appraising the wine. Saying it is a sign of God. You make good money from it. You drink, get drunk with it. Always be aware of those speak too much of morality because they don't have mostly any of it. This is why for me, I don't really, when I see somebody speak too much of morality, I feel fishy about this person because all of us, we are sinners. Aren't we? When somebody tried to play the game that he is holy, I mean, especially when he is a Muslim coming from the land of Islam, go and see what it is. You see, they, they have a series, they play it, I saw it, uh, uh, it was in California. Uh, it, it, it's made in Spanish language to do da'wah, to convert people to Islam, about a Muslim family, and they will show you how decent this family is, how everybody is praying to Allah. How wonderful this Muslim family, guys, you do not know what Muslim family is about. I remember when I was a child, the kid next to me saying to the kid next to him, the F word to his mother. I said to him, what well, isn't it his mother, your mother? Because they are brothers. He said, no, his mother is not my mother. I said, how is it so? I said, well, my dad, he have four wives. <laughs> this is a Muslim family. jealousy and hatred between even the brothers because every woman she teach her children to hate the other children from the other women each one of them she want to collect as much money as she can from the husband before he divorce her and marry a new wife every one of them she want to guarantee that her son will have a future so he will have inheritance so they hate each other the family islamic family is very much destroyed we don't see this such a garbage in our families. One man, one woman, one family. And the man, when you get older, he exchange you. Why he want to stay with you? It's halal. He can have four wives. He's not a cheating. Even the prophet of Islam, he was a cheater. If you go, just before we leave, if you go to chapter of at tahrim verse number one, you will see how Muhammad, he took a false oath when his wives, they got him cheating. Sleeping with Mary the Copt. O oh, Prophet, why you forbid what God has made lawful for you in the term of Coptic, the handmaid Maria, when he lay with her in the house of Hafsa, 
hey Muslims can you tell me according to which law Muhammad it was lawful for him to lay down with Maria where is the law in the Quran it says you can lay down with your handmaid I want to see that any Muslim want to show me so Muhammad he made an oath he promised his wives after they get him busted having sex with this woman in their bed I swear by Allah I will not do it again in the morning two days after Muhammad he got horny he liked this girl she's pretty so he have to find a solution so he made a verse says Allah he says to me why you forbid yourself from sleeping with her <laughs> why you forbid yourself from sleeping with her huh how how you can forbid you you cannot forbid yourself it's lawful for you where show me the verse in the Quran that says it's lawful for him in the Quran it says it's lawful for you your right hand possess from war this woman she is not from war she was a slave as a gift so where in the Quran it says you can sleep with her what made her unlawful for lawful for you if I have a maid in my house it's lawful for me this is Islam you see Islam they speak about we don't gain sex without marriage. This is the, your prophet is a perverted man. A man he have thirteen wives. Why he sleeping with the slave? It's not enough to, for him. All the women he have, he's short of them. He did not have enough yet. He is busy praying to God. They speak too much of morality, but they don't have any of it. That is the truth. Thank you guys for being here. We see you tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. So please be with us. And until then, may the Lord bless you. And don't forget to read my books. If you like to learn more about Islam, you can search in Amazon.com for a Christian prince name, and you will find the list of my books in many languages, including German, French, Swedish, and Dutch and for sure English English too. Uh, my last books two books it was it's called sex and Allah um, this book speaks specifically about sexuality in Islam um, I advise you to read it and I hope you guys you will enjoy uh, earning knowledge and the best thing a human being he can earn is knowledge actually you see we grow up by age our face change our look change you lose uh, you, you might lose your beauty you might lose your health but there is something age cannot take from you it is your wisdom and knowledge knowledge is amazing is the most beautiful thing you feel different knowledge make you a different person with your family with your friends with your neighbors when you go and sit with people and because you have a knowledge you will see how people receive you differently your knowledge open doors for you people will be attached to speak to you to listen to you this is why our Lord he said read the books search the books in the same time the Quran chapter 5 verse 51 says ask not questions as we heard this guy saying we are not allowed to ask questions I believe whatever he say for you don't even dare to ask because if they ask they will know he's a false man We are people of knowledge and we don't accept things unless we search it, we study it, and we acknowledge it, and we find its truth, and then, then we believe in it. And I say to all the Muslims in the world who they are so proud that they don't drink wine and they don't eat pork, but yet they drink piss. Find me better than Jesus and I will follow. Find me more filthy than Muhammad and prove to me he is even good qualified to work in the post office even to work in the post office muhammad is not a qualified he was accused of theft and he was a thief he was a murderer he was a child molester he was whatever you he, they will not accept him even to work in the city as a garbage collector while the christians speaking and the muslim debating if jesus qualified to be god you see how good is jesus 
We are debating if Jesus is God or not. We are not talking about Jesus is good or not. In the same time, when we debate Muslims, we debate about a child molester, a filthy man, a criminal, a liar, a cheater, as you see in the front of your eyes. How we can even compare between light and darkness? How we can compare between intelligence and stupidity? How we can compare between a man who takes shower with dead dogs and women of blood from period full of lies and the Messiah, the glorious name? What happened to this earth? How you Muslims follow the dead man, yet you believe that the Messiah is alive? Even in your book, he is alive. We are the Christians who follow the living Messiah and you Muslims who follow the dead Muhammad. Let the dead bury the dead and let the living one live with the living one and his name is there. Right now in the sky, he listened to me and to you. Right now in your book, Muslims, Jesus is listening to us. He is alive. I am a follower of the living Messiah. Who you follow. See you tomorrow. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And God bless you. Thank you.